Oh, what is up all you Chiefs, Champions, and Chosen Ones? It has been a second. I apologize for the delay. Had a couple things to take care of this morning and early afternoon, but we are back. Back and with a vengeance. Today we got a lot on our plates. But before we got to get to the other stuff on our plate, we have to finish the first things in our plate, which is, today at least, Canes. Shout out to all the people back at school, not getting any of this Canes. Rest in peace, you guys. You're going to have to wait to land. But, thankfully, we don't have to wait for land today. Alright. As I mentioned earlier, we got a lot of stuff going on today. We have uh, some Valorant Ranked we're going to get into in just a little bit with that new axe starting up. I wanted to try and get back into it and see how far I can get in that game as well. I know competing in, or not competing, but trying to climb in two games at once is a difficult task, but I enjoy both games, so I figure why not try for it, you know? Later on, I'm going to be hopping on with some of TU Esports' uh, Super Smash Brothers players and helping them during their practices, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and then after that, I think we're going to do a little bit more Animal Crossing. I really enjoyed going around and uh, acting out as all the different villagers. Uh, and if you tuned in yesterday, you know we had a couple of things that uh, we bought in the game that weren't going to get delivered until today. So, uh, you know, I want to get in there and make sure that I turn those into the museum and do whatever else I need to do. But for right now, we're just going to start it off pretty slow and uh, into something and see, uh, eat this eat this good, good old canes. And uh, after that, we'll hop into, hop into some ranked. Now, let's see. We're watching, there we go, this history of LEGO Star Wars speedruns here earlier. So, start off uh, finishing that off. We chow down here. Look at that. Toast. Oh no, it's getting everywhere. Toast. Shoot, it's in the keyboard now. Where's the air? Last thing I want is this seed germinating in my keyboard. I don't think it'll happen, but you never know. The miracle of life, am I right? Right at the end. Right. He didn't got that cane sauce. He just needed one that was good the three-piece combo today, you know, wanted to save on some calories. As long as he didn't completely choke, he'd have another record. But with all ten out of ten. Counting, and being on an highly recommend if you have not. Uh, e Road House had came didn't have an before. amazing episode five. He had the best episode five ever performed. This was by far stop. the greatest record the game had ever Maybe seen. even better than Chick-fil-A. E Roadhouse had skipped 233. Well, I don't have spicy. 232. I think if they added spicy four chicken to their menu, second place, it would be hands down the best chicken place. Do. There was nothing anyone could do. E Roadhouse was the game's new top runner, and it was hard to imagine this record being beaten anytime soon. So, he took a break. Since nobody else had a personal best below 236, there were no challengers for the Another record. Thing. However, that didn't stop players from continuing to run the game. But the nature of the competition changed. It was now a battle for second place, rather than the world record. About a month after the 231, a new runner moved cool. into second, Ginger Legend. A few days later, All right. he'd be beaten by... You may notice that my camera looks way better today, and that is because I totally forgot to do it's important to note that all the color correction for the new lighting. Because uh, every room is different. And so, I had it set up to um, my old house prior, and I totally forgot to do all the... Uh, the little adjustments needed for this new place. So, went ahead and did that last night. Got 
uh, you know, the lighting done. I got the sharpness fixed up. As you can see, you can probably tell things look way uh, more crisp, way more clear. Uh, I don't look nearly as yellow, thankfully, or like, you know, warm. Although, I do tend to be a fan of warmer lighting myself, but when it comes to streaming, you really don't want that, like, yellowy hue. So, I went ahead and fixed that last night. And as we continue to stream and improve, I'm going to be making incremental changes to, uh, you know, the stream and everything. Hoping to get better day by day. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy there the um, very few new better camera quality here. Utilized. The vast majority of their time save came from getting better at the game. Fewer mistakes, better movement, that sort of improvement. By February... A runner named Zach achieved a 235, and by March, I gotta ask you guys. Trio of runners with a 235. What is your favorite chicken place? Sinor in second place. Or do you even like chicken? Ginger Legend in third place. Some people Zach don't even like breaded chicken. They don't like For it grilled. For the first time since he set his mammoth world record, that's the case. E Roadhouse was feeling a bit of. Where do pressure. you get the best grilled chicken? Because I'm a breaded chicken kind of person. from his record. But their times were dropping. If I have the option, I'll so, go for the, you know, the battered and fried or whatever. Break and go back but to grilled chicken tests. can be good too. But he struggled to get good runs. But goal. I feel like Especially I've had a bad, ex better, you know, worse experiences with grilled chicken in the past. On March, where it being like super Sino dry or just unseasoned or whatever. Lower his second place time. And so it's kind of turned me off. But I'm open to he trying it again. But I just need some recommendations of the world record. E Roadhouse continued his attempts. But failed to get anything good. And you know they gave me on March. They 9th, gave me four strips. Jack got on a run that was even with the world record through That's episode awesome. two. I got an extra chicken. actually strip. gained half a minute over the record in episode four. Once again, this was mostly due to better gameplay rather than new strategies. He ended up losing time to the incredible episodes six and five in E Roadhouse's record, but still finished right. with a two thirty two. Kind of rushing here. Zach I want to get into the gameplay. I've already lost off the world record. Like, Sinor half an hour stream time. Zach but, had a 2.32. You know. And E Roadhouse had a 2.31. At the same time, I do also want to enjoy the chicken. All three of them were doing attempts. And all three of them had potential to get the world record. E Roadhouse's time had run out. He was now in direct competition with two strong runners. There was no question the world record. And in case you don't follow me on Twitter and didn't know that was, I was going to be like, which of these make sure to hit that follow button, hit the well, little bell, and you'll be notified every time that I go live. E Roadhouse broke through. Oh, speaking of, I totally forgot I had it was a, only a five different goal I record improvement, but it showed that he still had what it took. Oh, okay. This run had another fantastic well, early that. game, but he lost about 45 seconds in episode 6 from repeatedly missing Disco Skip. Episodes 3 and 5 were up and down, but since his gameplay overall had improved, it was enough to eke out a small record. But his work wasn't right. done yet. A couple weeks later, one King sauce down. a 231.35. Next cane sauce to go. Another small record improvement. I think if you're getting canes, no matter what meal you get, you always want to get an extra cane sauce. Times. Still, all three runners continued to grind over the following weeks. The end goal had shifted. It was officially a grind for the game's first sub-230. A half-hour barrier hadn't been broken in two years. In mid-May, Sinor lowered his time down by over half a minute. All three runners were now within 60 seconds of each other. Who would get sub-230 first? Would it be the veteran, the newcomer, or the current world record holder? Well, on May 14th, I'm going with the newcomer. Roadhouse got on a run with another incredible first Never couple mind. of episodes. Oh wait, no, it's gonna switch your right. once Guaranteed. again. This was his best pace ever, leaving episode two. He faltered a bit in levels 4-2 and 4-3, so his pace cooled off slightly, exiting episode four. But after episode six, he was still a minute ahead of the record. It was clear that this would be a golden opportunity for the sub 230. And then, in episode 3-1, something strange happened. E Roadhouse was cycling through his... Yo, I have that, there's a Lego set. Pause. Left, and he I'll pull it out in a second. And he actually paused his timer. 
I really wanted that set when I was a kid, but I never got it when it first released. But then they released a um, would now seem better than it really the same the same build, just like didn't know updated later on. I think it was like 2012-ish, so 2014-ish. Really well, and I got it then. Made his way through episode three, and it went beautiful. I just love the designs of the Jedi episode Starfighter. Five got off to a great start, and entering 5-5, he was a minute 21 ahead, but of course, his real pace was still a mystery. 5-5 was solid, and 5-6 was nearly perfect. And when he stopped his splits, they read 229.35. E. Roadhouse knew his run was Diet Coke that, to wash it down? But the exact amount wasn't known. It all came Any down Diet to Coke how enjoyers? long the timer was paused. So, it had to be retimed. The exact length of the pause would determine if this was the world's first sub-230, or if the race would continue. And after the retime, they found that E. Roadhouse's timer was paused while I eat for 21 all you and a back half at home. seconds, meaning Take his this run time, was a 2.29.57. Hydrate, use the restroom, by the skin of his teeth, tidy up your room a bit. His sixth world record in a row was his most important one Or join me at the meal. Yet. E. Roadhouse officially had the world's first sub-230. In the job, aftermath e. of this run, Zack and Sinor continued doing PB attempts for a short while. Both players lowered their times, but neither could catch up to E. Roadhouse. Their motivation had just I think there were some up. patch notes too for Valorant that I forgot like to look at the other day. Community break would be in order. So I want to go over those two before You're probably noticing direct. a pattern by now. Whenever community motivation is at a low point, New tricks are always found to bring people back in. And right on cue in May 2021, two massive tricks were discovered. One of them was a 30 second time save in 3-5 found by Los. But the one we're gonna go over was the one discovered in 5-5. This trick was notable for two main reasons. For one thing, it was in the toughest stage of the run. 5-5 was already a completely broken level. You had DV1, DV3, and the DV4 jumps. The new trick, fittingly, was called DV2. Every room of the Darth DV Vader fight now had a skip. Oh, Darth Vader. And the other notable thing about this like trick, it was the most comprehension difficult moment. one in the entire game. That's right. The toughest trick of the run was now in a stage that was already considered to be the hardest. This is the insanity of DV2. Chief. You start by activating a moving platform outside the boss room, then positioning Luke on a panel beneath it and placing R2 on the platform. I love how you can stand on those platform things. platform moves down, you can collide into Luke as he's sliding off the panel. If done at the perfect moment, Luke will go through the wall under the floor of the next room, and you can just walk underneath the boss fight. <laughs> Getting the clip into the wall is so precise that pause buffering is used to help line it up. And even so, every single step of this trick is hard. It's hard to so. get on the panel, it's hard to stay on the panel, it's hard to pause buffer at the right time, it's hard to line up Luke, it's hard to line up R2, it's hard to avoid going too low in the boss room. It's hard to avoid going too high in the boss room. Any of these portions not being done correctly results in a miss. But if done properly, it would save an additional 50 seconds. A team of LavaFang407, Note KO, and EJP Man created DV2, and it made Stage 5 5 a nightmare. Tough trick after tough trick right at the end of the run. But with all the time save potential, people had to go for it. All right. And it brought the final two chicken Zach strips. And Sinor back to doing runs. They each got times I'm of 230. Yeah. And then on June 1st, Sinor set the world record. It had a rough episode 6, particularly a slow ultra kill in 6-5, but he got DV2 on his second try. A fantastic result for such a tough trick. He closed it out 20 seconds ahead of E. Roadhouse, Sinor's first world record in over a year, back when the run was 12 minutes slower. 
So now, of the top three competitors, only one had yet to get the world record. Zach. He'd been in the top three Let's for go, the Zach. Past five months, even moving into second oh. place on several occasions. But I also fixed never been able to take the cloud bot. Spot. So now, it was frustrating. command should work he again. Knew he was good I don't know why it was turned off. Been on pace before, but I looked into it, a bit of time and it was. So, let's test so, it out here. Zach decided to start a devoted grind for the record. Mm. But this wasn't going to be just any grind. He was going to play the game 14 to 15 hours per day what until he fuck? set the world record. Zack began Talk about on his grind. quest, and over the next right, two weeks, here. he played the game for Yeah, the there we go. Hours. Run after run, good pace after good pace, and despite all that, awesome. he didn't achieve a world record. In fact, he didn't even get a PB. Zack remained in third place, behind E Roadhouse <laughs> and Sinor. Disappointing for sure, but Zack would still get another chance. Because on June 13th, runners Zack, E Roadhouse, and We Super all met up to grind for the world record 12 hours a day, with Sinor <coughs> also participating at There we home. go. Only 12 awesome. hours may have been less than Remember, if you have before, the better TTV add-on. of the best runners in the world, 12 hours per day, for three days. You are able to use all the emotes surely that I have added to the channel. Coming. But it never happened. With more coming, 72 hours came when I figure out no which ones I want to add, or if people and want me to add why. them. Between all four runners, more than 20 world record paces were achieved into the final two levels. All of them died to DV2. It was such a hard trick, and trying to execute it when feeling the pressure of a record paced run, good luck with that. So for Zack, a grind of 12 hour days hadn't worked. 14 hour days hadn't worked either. So he had only one remaining option. 15 On hour June 16th, days. Zach began a grind of 16 hour what? days to get the Lego Star Wars world record. I think Summoning Soul he never had any is one of the best space. people at it weaving a narrative. Seem hopeless. That I've ever seen but on when it comes 18th, to Zach on that creation. Finally got a run deep ahead of the record. And what a pace it was. Entering 5-5, his best possible time was 228.43. That was a good enough pace that he didn't even need to do DV2. He could get the record without it. But Zach was committed to going for it. And on just his third try, he got in the wall. If Let's he could go. Just make it to the end of the room. He'd be in the clear. But I definitely ate this chicken way too fast. He went too low and died. Because I'm getting the feel it. Start DV2 over again. He lost over a minute and ended up missing the record by just seconds. Had he skipped doing DV2, he would have had the world record. So Zach kept going. More long attempts. Sessions, the last chicken strip. More failed runs. But on June 24th, he'd find himself in an eerily similar situation. A best possible time of 2.2808 into 5-5. Once again, he could skip DV2 and still get the record. I was also but wondering, once again, is it legal to like... To going for it. Uh, it was a decision that cost him the record last Read time. books on stream? But this time, he hit it first try. He was in a gold. I don't know if it would technically be considered like a he public reading. Similar to like the door clip. DMCA stuff that had to do with the, the TV show meta that happened early last year. He had just set a new world record by But if not, I think it'd be kind of fun. After months of grinding and hundreds of hours of world record attempts, Zach's efforts were vindicated. This record didn't stop others from trying. Sinor, Wii Super, Andy Roadhouse all continued doing record attempts after the in-person meetup. But eventually, their attempts stopped, in large part because 5-5 was such a demoralizing stage. So, throughout the rest of 2021, Zack's time remained at the top of the leaderboard. He went from not being able to set the record 
to holding the top spot for six months straight. In early 2022, Zach decided to come back to the game. It had taken him hundreds of attempts and many months of grinding to set his world record. And on top of that, he hadn't seriously ran the category in half a year. So, expectations weren't too high when he started up runs again. But instead of being the underdog like he was in 2021, this was the Zach of 2022. Last year, it was a Can big deal when that? Zach finally managed a world record. This year, he was unstoppable. You Roadhouse, Senor, We Super, none of these guys could catch up. By June, he had taken his time down to 227.19. Zach was using even more 1P2C than in previous runs. 4-4 was now being done almost completely with two controllers. But once again, most of the time saved from these records was Zach playing better. Tricks were being done faster, and execution overall was improving. Improving to the point that nobody could catch him. He was more than a minute ahead of second place. But then, after his 227.19, the world record stayed stagnant for over two Gotta months. Figure out what this was despite the fact that he lost 30 use. seconds for missing Dooku skip in 2-6, and lost significant time in 5-1 as well. The community's goal was to achieve a 226. It seemed doable, but Zach was unable to, and nobody else was particularly close. The community was as active as ever, but with no records being set, a big opportunity was going to waste. So, in an attempt to get the game a new world record, the community decided to organize one more big event. It was going to be another four-day break the record session. But instead of break the game's the top record. four runners competing, this time they expanded it to the top ten. Ten runners, four days, and a goal go. time of 2.26. Even with this many runners, nobody knew for sure if a new record would be set. But one thing that wasn't in doubt was that there would be a lot of movement on the awesome. leaderboards. Zack and E. Roadhouse were in first and second place, and they were the favorites to lower the record. Just behind them were Bacon Soda and Bricko, still with decent odds to get the record, and beyond them was a mix of prior record holders and newer contenders. Their personal bests ranged from Zack's 227 down to a 233, but all of them knew that they had a serious chance to move up on the leaderboard. Let the world record attempts begin. Zach and E. Roadhouse may have been in the best positions to lower the record, but fourth place runner Bricko got the first good chance. Just hours into day one, he had a run with a best possible time of 2.25.46 into episode three. There was still a ways to go, but it was easily on world record pace. Unfortunately, a poor episode 3 cost him the record, but he still got a 227.47. This was good enough for second place. It was a big motivator for the rest of the group, especially for the recently demoted to third place E. Roadhouse. And toward the end of day 1, both he and Zack found themselves on record pace in the 5-5, but DV2 would strike again. E. Roadhouse finished with a 228.25, and Zach got a 227.45. Zach's time was faster than every runner on the leaderboard, uh, except for his own record. Kane's consumed. Game one had come and gone, and despite movement from some top runners, no new records were set. <coughs> Day two I I had featured a couple PBs huh? from runners in the top ten. We Super got a 25 second PB cut, and Senor moved from 5th to 4th place. But for most of the day, none of the top runners got anything on world record pace. Then, late in the night, after most runners were done All for right. the day, Zach had a run with 227.11 potential into 5-5. But of course, 
he still had to get DV2. Well, we'll turn back into that tomorrow or something. Now, time for the grind. So let me... <clears throat> some music as well. The ultimate competition playlist. How to get my audio muted 101. Time, boys. Login issues. Cool. Well, good thing I didn't have a login issue. Let's actually warm up a bit first because I know I'm gonna need it. Oh my gosh. Dying here, excuse me. Been a while since I've poured a lot of time into Valorant, so definitely do get my muscle memory up to speed again. Also, I can play. I can play all sometime. Oh, but I need to get all the songs from my friend. When I built my new PC, I copied a bunch of data over from my old one, uh, like Minecraft World save files and such. Uh, but one of the things I didn't copy over was my OSU downloads. So I have a friend that I played it with. Oh, uh, kind of frequently, but, um, and since he has all of them, or since they have all of them, uh, uh, since they have all of them, I can join a lobby that they're in, and they can just cycle through all the songs that I like to play, and I can download them that way, way easier than, uh, going through the site and trying to figure out which ones are Tw or try to figure out where all of them are And with some caffeine in my system today, maybe I'll actually be able to not yawn at the end there.
Uh, soft center. Not even eligible. Uh, got too focused there. Let's go, all right, 25. Pretty toasty now. I'll tell you, this will be one hell of a climb. I've never been that great at Valorant, but I enjoy the gameplay and I understand how the game works, so. I'd like to try. Too bad that Valorant doesn't have a. Uh, I call it Q time or like a uh, Q games like Overwatch. 
Yeah, what was the last time I actually placed rank? Ages ago, I think. <laughs> Match found. Oh, what's going on, Joms? Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. The patronage. Yo, I just hit 29 out of 30 on the practice range. I'm ready to go. Let's go, brother. Uh, what is this, Haven? Let's fucking go, baby. Real deal, that was my high score. I, I almost hit 30, and then I just choked one of them. On what, like medium? Yeah, in the, uh, that practice range. I don't know how all yeah. the opposite aim was. Where are you uh, practice uh, flicks? Uh, yeah. What you cheaping on, the Gorilla Glue, or what? Bro, this one is actually LA Confidential. It's what? It's called LA Confidential. What's the strength? Oh, nice. We need the controller here. That would be perfect. It's a good team. All right, I like this team. What rank were you guys last act? I don't think I can hear it. Can you guys hear me here? I don't think they can hear during the loading screen. Oh, hey, James. Um, make sure you have the um, 7 TV app or extension installed on your device and then do um, exclamation mark emotes. Before we say our last tag line. I haven't played since gold. like the second episode. Well, what, what's this the is gold. All right, I'm bet. silver three. And that, that's what I'm playing. So now it's gold three last rank. Do you want to push your jet or kind of hold? I did do really bad last rank. Uh, if you peek right here, peek right here. Don't die. I'm gonna go sit over here and get two free kills. I got, I got my stun too. I'm so here, just jiggle it. Just jiggle it. Just jiggle it. Yeah, and I'll be sitting over here so they see you. I'm within my back. Enemy spotted A. There. One's already on A. Let's go. We got two. Enemy spotted A. Here we go. I don't know. That's the ghost. Last player standing. Dude, how did I blind myself there? What? He's hit 52. Spike planted. Let's get in those lineups. There they are. Oh, nice try, dude. Dude, how could I not get my little breach thing into that corner? We doing this or what? Geometry. How much you want to bet they rushed you here? I don't want to bet because that's probably the truth. <laughs> yeah. Here, oh, uh, never mind, never mind. Hey. Not bad, Reno. That's all there. I want it, I want The running gun. Planted. And she just pushed it by herself? Alright. I'm kind of surprised I have this song in my workout playlist and in my... Ooh, nice one. 
She had a spectre, she had a spectre. Hmm. Yeah, I was trying to pull it. Alright, we win this one. Ooh, I got RGX for both of them. Play safe here after you shoot that arrow. If they start pushing, I'm gonna stun. There's C. Yeah. Some garage. Oh my gosh, watch garage, please! Nice, good trade. I think there's one more there. No. Dude, come on. <sighs> Begging them to hold it for me. Wait for me. One more. One enemy remaining. Nice. Spike down. Garage. Last oh, six player standing. I don't think she knew that she was there, honestly. Spike planted. Small rotation here. I'm gonna bet she's either on log or back right. Nice job. Alright, I am big broke here though. Kind of unfortunate. That no one knows. It's gonna show. I'm guessing they go A here. I'm smoking it. Oh, man, you stay back, B. It's where he's always yeah. trusting. Scanning ahead. I'm, I'm, uh, just coming to be. Yeah, they're coming to be. My PA short too is just a little bit peaked. What did they molly it? Wait, what? He cleared me? 135, bro. Me too. Uh, no way, bro. I mean, I just blinded there at one. Spike down, B. Oh, I blind my ally, though. Ready. Nice. B. Both on B. Spike isn't down yet. That's good. Yes, to the bone. Oh no, he whiffed it. Thirty seconds left. One enemy remaining. Spike down B. Way, he's gonna go all the way around, right? Got to be so they gotta start planning here soon. Ten seconds left. Somebody so they don't have time. Oh, they do have time. Just, uh, nice job. Nice. Good rotations, Jet. Somebody. Somebody saw Selling cars and dirty money Lots of rock and roll Spilling coke all over myself I need a draw Check please Oh Jack, can you smoke it? Hey I need a draw. Hey, can you buy me the uh, bubble? Appreciate it. Stealing sight. Let's be 
begins. Hit 70, Brim. They're going B. Or C, I don't know. Last hit a lot. Okay, just one. Somebody, be somebody soon. Bow. 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 But I can't. Oh, she almost had it. And swing. Nice. <laughs> I called it. Good run, good run, good run. Keep it up. Screw up and they're on us. Can you smoke so I can get a orb jet? Yes. Thank you. That's not good. Nice shots on me. Are you gonna push it? Reloading. One enemy remains. Get the ace. Hello. Oh, nice shot. That's fine. We could do something kind of aggressive here if we wanted to use my old. Or do we want to save him for retake? Again, but I am gonna get a pick here right away. Uh, breach, shoot the start. You got it. Here. Stay safe. There is no dart. Oh, I'm rotating. There's, there's three of them. You can let him have it if need be. Uh, I have vault for retake. You should run. Oh shit. I'm stuck. Uh, Silva's down. Silva, you have a for that, brother. He was in that. Spike down. See. One enemy remaining. Oh shit, you hit me. I'm bad, I'm bad. That's my fun. Did you get one? Right? I did get one, alright. Alright, same thing. He's gonna shoot that dart this round. You got it. Wait, where does the dart go? Right there. Here. Okay. I'll shoot it. That's what I'm talking about. Short, short. Um. Watch me, watch me. I don't think that for sure, but... They fell back after seeing that up. One enemy remaining. Nice job. Good job. Why is it so bright? What the fuck? This place is nice, but not nice enough to die in. Let's win and get out of here. I think they might try a B pusher. 
I think they're gonna try another eight. Wait, Tova, did you die last time? Hit them fast, hit them hard. Right here. Oh, they're here. I have to be out. I'm gonna give it to them right now. Fire in the hole! Oh, yeah. There's no. I have Bram's made too. Planted. Eighty on uh, Riz. In that crash there should have been more. Nice shot. No charges left. One enemy remaining. Are just going crazy today. Thrifty. Oh, they got it. We are strong because we are together. Don't forget that. Burr. Burr. Well, good thing about playing Valorant ranked is at least I don't have to play seven games to get my placements. I'm pretty sure it places me after a game. Brim hit 134. That arc arrow fucked me. Oh, Reyna's on it today. Nice try, nice try. I should have just shot the dart there. They got some big ults, so prepare for them to plant and then trample play post plant. It's gonna have such a good angle. One enemy remaining. My ult's ready. Nice shot. Uh, good retake. Defuse the spike. Jay, your rotations are very good. Good positioning. Thanks. Team Ace. I love you. Last round in the half.
is in my competition play. Well, it is made by Riot Games, so... This is final round right before... here instead of my can't get a shorty though too What is that arrow? Oh my gosh. Enemy spotted A. This is clear. I go see bait. I trust don't go B, don't go B. I'm going C. One still B. One enemy remaining. Not me forgetting my shorty. He was on A. Short. Fast. You got it. I'm stunning long immediately. We're gonna go sewers and just leer. I'm not in stretch mark by the way. Oh, there's two heaven. Reloading. 50 on the. They're both heaven. 50 on the KJ. One enemy remaining. Uh, nice. Nice job. I'll make them remember. Let's take C quick. Stunning back left. Right there. I'm gonna attempt to go up to the garage. I'm gonna insert smoke again. Shadows. Cover your feeling. Got him. I'm passing the ball. Ah, oh, my bad, right now. Flank. Nice. Like that. 
after they have Bulldog. I want their life, not yours. Let's take B. Smoke right here and right here. Mm -hmm. I'll stun right side. And paranoia the right side or or stun. I'm a dash in. You wait, you want me to paranoia yeah. right here? I think he's stunning it. No no no, I'll, I'll stun left side, I'll stun left side. Add that button. Stunning now, get out of the way. You're in here. You guys are both in the stun, move! It is what it is. Yeah. It's fine. I think there's one coming from behind. I'm watching. Wait, I'm good trade. One enemy remaining. Nice. <laughs> no way he missed that, bro. <laughs> he said you've never been in a black fight. No way he missed that. Let's take a. This new skin is pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. In the new Araxes skin collection. Come into the they low key give aimbot. Shoot the dart right here. Get the fuck out of here. It's all up to you, soldier. Complete the mission. You put a lot of faith in me. I don't know if I can handle it. Sixteen, he's hitting shots like he's thirty and twelve. <laughs> Stunning back left again. They're using a ton of utility here. Yeah. Oh, Ring is going in. Oh, man, you want to TP on site and clear force? Uh, uh, yeah, good. She grenaded in. Yeah. Garage like a freak. Who does it? Ring is here. He's in the smoke, in the smoke. Press it. Nice game. Victory. That's what we like to see. Unranked. Oh, I do have to play Vert. Okay, so I do have to play a former. Alright, we go again. Good first game to start the day off. It's almost already. Okay, 
Okay, so yeah, I'm in like silver lock. African jet. Do you have any ready in I think so. This well the season just started yesterday. Oh let's go. Oh no, I forgot to look at the changes. There's all new stuff going on right now. I saw a Twitter thread that had all the um all the stuff for it, but Chamber. Yeah, let's play Chamber. We'll try him out. Maybe I can pull up the map changes real quick. I know they have. What should I say? What's going on, everybody? Yo, what's good? Oh, not much. Just uh, gaming out here, you know. Right. So, uh, where are all the map changes? There we go. Okay, so four. Wait, did they not? This is before. Ooh, that's interesting. Very wide. I like that. There's a whole bunch. Uh, okay, that was ramp. That's funky. Little box smaller. Tower. It's a bit longer, and there's angle. Nice, nice. Oh, they got rid of the. Raina, little step the there. You consume, do you hear their voices as I do? Bottom. They change here. They just lower the lip on it and then get rid of the. Change the box. Oh man. Think so. Huh, not bad. Keep watching, yes. I do want to continue watching that here. Foes and villain. Well, there. Cover going out. Reloading. Enemy spotted. A. No way. What? There's no shot, bro. How did those two miss? I gotta watch that back. That was point blank. Alright, Tommy Lee, let's go. Alright, nice try, nice try. I got a couple things to slow. I got a lot of things to slow us down, actually. We, we have a couple ways to get in fast. Go to the sky so self and pride. You pride. Ah, ah. Make to remember. Reloading. Oh, 
reloading. Shadows traveling. Grenade, reloading. Blocking sight. Reloading. No. Reloading. Oh, fuck. B. I tried dodging. Okay, well we got a kill, so our economy's a little bit better. Rise! Thank the remember. Also, rest in peace, James getting locked out of his twist, twist, Twitch account. Never fun. Composed. It hurts too. Death will fight going. Actually, that. I am low key regretting my decision to chamber this game. I'm not going to lie. What is she up to? No! Oh my gosh, she came in behind! I hit Brimford too. Room hit 63. Oh, she almost had it. I think the barrel of the gun stuck out. I mean, we just need to push the site. Me and Jack cleared the whole site together. We want to play a little bit of a default and see what they do. I feel like this rain is just going to push no matter what. Wait for it, we might be able to catch her out. Is 
ready. Teleport's ready. Power Rangers. Top, 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 top. Heaven, heaven. Last player standing. Oh, how did I get top KD here? How did that happen? I don't think there's a better guitar shred opening than the Power Rangers theme. Up the floor. Reloading. Spike is down. Spike down. B. The fun begins. Reloading. Had in division. Gosh, she was there. I should have known that they would have held someone there. Where'd that brim go? What the fuck? Still says I have my ult though, but if I cast it, I should have it right. Should have automatically updated. it. Power Rangers! One bullet for enemies. That should be enough, yes? Yo, if you're trying to queue up Jahamas, let me know. I will be around to queue up. Oh my gosh, you're better. The hell of mid, bro. There's like three mid. Reloading. <laughs> Let me just run across there. Team, we're gonna need to step it up here. We're getting gapped by one player. Just default out a little bit here.
Help our mans. Help our mans. One jumping in the middle. Oh, fuck. Enemy spotted. Oh, it got the. Uh, um. much there. Insane raise boost. Enemy spotted. Party's over. This is too fun. And it was up there. No way, bro. Seconds. Second late too. Last player standing. Oh my gosh, a tractor. Here. Fade with an op. Not something you see every day. This place is nice, but not nice enough to die in. Let's win and get out. Get a drop. Talk about fear, that's something scary. No 
Oh, uh, main, main, main. Oh, he ate that. Holy. Oh, nice shot. Thirty seconds left. I got the spike. No way. He just ran out and got him like that. Last nice try. round before the switch. Oh my gosh, the worst timing in the world. Spike down A. Last player standing. Nope. <laughs> Look at my team dog, I never get out of bronze. Ah, oh, fight this. Out of charges. That's not ready. Kick them out. Out of charges. Spike down B. One enemy remaining. Long. This is the comeback, folks. We crushed them. Starts here. Let's get these idiots. I'm going to prank right now. Ah, uh, got you, got you. Oh, it switched off to the other gun. I hit the, I hit the hockey. Oh my gosh! All right. Spike down A. Last player standing. Come on, Emerly. You've got it. Spike planted. Shadows traveling. One enemy remaining. Oh. Match point. I'm the last thing they'll see before they die. Match point. Well, if it's match point. Get busy buying or get busy dying. A gift.
That's not ready. tough but it happens at least I didn't go negative could not enter match oh I hate when this happens oh why it happens it's literally been a bug since like a launch I'm pretty sure come on Except you're not in the game, I know you're not in a game. Bro. Come on. Did it work? I don't know if it did. Hello, Valorant? Oh, okay, there we go. Team MVP. Wow, thanks. I went even with basically everybody. Are you good? Match found. Okay, right. All right, right. Fracture. This is a fun one. Oh, bum bum bum. Remember, folks, don't forget to hydrate. Hydration is very important. Get yourself a water bottle. Drink up. <sighs> you know what I need to do? I need to clean my mouse bed. It's all scuffed up. Yo. Let's cook crack a wagon. Oh. We got a pretty solid team here. Am I? Are you cracking that? Are you good? I think you just died on Mike. Yeah, Jesus, what the hell was that? Call 911? <laughs> He needs a res, bro. Did he dodge? Oh my gosh, he dodged. Somebody dodged. Oh, all right. Match there down. we go. Oh, hold on. I gotta put my... I gotta update my shit. Hey, guys. I just hit gold three last night. How's everyone else doing? Doing pretty good.
Do we have a vision of how we want this team comp to look? No, Yoru. You don't like Haven? Well, good thing smokes is what we need. Okay. Valorant players and dodging games. Name a better duo. Match found. Third time's the charm, maybe? Fracture again. Let's go. Yeah, how's it going, folks? What's up? What's going on? Just doing some Valorant gaming today. Yep, yep. That game. That game sucks. True, Omega Lol. Hey, at least it's not League of Legends. <laughs> Legends? All right, Jed, I'm gonna be supporting you here. Thank you, thank you. I support you too, Jet. Aw, thanks, guys. All right, we gotta win this game fast. Oh my gosh, okay, hold on. Literally unable to get a Q. We are gonna take a short break here. here for and we're gonna watch a video submitted by an old teammate of mine self pro Aaron's game hub the internet episode Pause that. <laughs> hey, Chad, what's up? Did you hear the big news? I did. It's crazy. Girls don't actually pee out of their vaginas. What? <laughs> Bruh. I was like, let me, let me, uh... Bruh. Oh, he's got other ones. Hold on. Yeah, you know what? I'm sorry, Fuck it. what? Yeah. <laughs> I saw it on the news this morning. Three bottles of liquor later, and I'm still processing it. No. Wait, Aaron's a comedic genius. I didn't know this. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. We gotta put something else on. Uh. Uh. Uh, let's do, let's do, let's do, uh, bu bu bu. Just pick this. let's put this on for you. When Nintendo Switch Sports was revealed, I remember being completely Stop. bewildered. Reset. It felt like we had traveled there back in time to an era that I never thought Nintendo would want to relive. These days, the motion control fad is a distant memory. Virtual reality games have been able to explore them to there a much go. further extent. But those early days of experimentation are a long Be back long. soon. For a while, most had shunned motion controls for feeling unnecessary or just not being as reliable or practical as a traditional controller. But regardless of that, the Wii and its flagship motion-based games sold unbelievably well, and everyone and their grandmother wanted in. For the longest time, I just considered motion controls a strange phenomenon that targeted non-gamers and families. But the more I thought about the impact the Wii left on the world, the more I rediscovered my appreciation for it. My favorite console of the sixth generation was the GameCube, despite how poorly it performed against its competitors. 
the primary reason for this was its high-quality library that delivered unique experiences you couldn't find anywhere else. The Wii was able to accomplish the same feat in an entirely different way, and it was all thanks to its unorthodox controller. It was risky for Nintendo to leave their comfort zone and escape the status quo with the Wii, and they made mistakes along the way, but their trailblazing left a deep impact. Satoru Iwata always felt that video games should just be fun. Fun for everyone. The Wii instilled that philosophy into its most successful games, and it ended up demolishing its competition. It invited new ways for us to interact with our games, and introduced millions of people to the interactive medium. I've both loved and hated the Wii at different points in my life, but I felt it would be worthwhile to rediscover when and why this happened. I wanted to understand why the Wii found tremendous success and acclaim. I wanted to reacquaint myself with the wonder of those motion controls, and see how they enabled creative new ways to experience video games. On the flip side, I also wanted to figure out why it isn't always fondly remembered. I wanted to recall those missteps Nintendo made with the console, and determine the true legacy it left behind. I'm Liam Triforce, and this is a Nintendo Wii Retrospective. A quick thank you to Likewise for sponsoring this video. Likewise recently launched Likewise TV, which aims to solve the dilemma we face with the overabundance of streaming services available to us. Likewise TV serves as a hub for this content by conveniently informing you of the different platforms your favorite stuff is available on. There's no need to keep track of what you're watching across multiple platforms either, because your watch list or custom lists on Likewise TV can serve as the only ones you'll ever need. Each show has a label on it indicating where to watch. And you can also look into other options for watching on the show's info page. You can be watching within a click or two. Say for example I want to watch Gurren Lagann. It's on Netflix here in Canada and I'm subscribed to Netflix, so I click on watch now and boom, I'm watching. If you feel like checking out Likewise TV for yourself, you can click the link I've provided in the description to follow me there. I've created a few lists of some of my favorite stuff, and a nice hub for all of the stuff I used to watch on the Canadian TV block Bionics. Once again, thank you Likewise. We gave you DS, a new Game Boy, and new games to play on them. And now you say, you want a revolution? Well, we've got one. By simply pulling a new Nintendo console out from his jacket, Satoru Iwata cemented the Wii's reveal as one of the most iconic in Nintendo's history at E3. Then known as the Revolution, Iwata wanted the company's next console to have a much broader appeal in the seventh generation of gaming. While the GameCube did have the breadth of its contemporaries in its library, featuring landmark games in a plethora of genres, it failed to hold the attention of third-party publishers for a number of reasons, such as the console's lunchbox-like design, its lack of multimedia features like DVD playback, and barely any online functionality to speak of. The GameCube's focus was on, well, the games, and that was especially evident when it came to its first-party lineup. The experiences the GameCube delivered were consistently exceptional. It hosted definitive games in each genre, and otherwise bent genre rules altogether resulting in an unmistakably high-quality game library for the ages. That said, the system was not a must-own for consumers, and even though developers adopted a cross-platform strategy during the sixth generation, the GameCube's limitations and narrow focus led them to forego the system altogether to cut costs. For the first time, the game industry was evolving beyond Nintendo, and they had been cornered by their competitors. In May 2002, Hiroshi Yamauchi retired as president of Nintendo after over 50 years in office. He was succeeded by Satoru Iwata, who lived and breathed video games. His background was atypical for a corporate president. Whereas Yamauchi didn't play video games himself, Iwata came from a background of game development and passion for the medium. Before joining the board of directors at Nintendo, he made a name for himself at HAL Laboratory, working on games like Kirby, Earthbound, and Super Smash Bros. Under his direction, HAL Laboratory managed to find stability and develop a close relationship with Nintendo, ensuring the company's future. As a person, Iwata felt like he represented the fun essence of Nintendo in how he presented himself and in how he spoke about games and the industry at large. And his desire to share his love of video games with the world drove the development of Nintendo's next home console. Realizing that the company would stagnate if it continued to compete directly with Sony and Microsoft, 
Iwata decided to double down on Nintendo's uniqueness and creativity in a blue ocean business strategy. Iwata wanted the company to sail uncharted waters and create an entirely new demographic, rendering the competition irrelevant to their success. He wanted the console to appeal to non-gamers, parents, grandparents, basically anyone that wouldn't typically be targeted by a video game company. After several prototypes, the Wii and its controller, the Wii Remote, were born. It might seem ridiculous now to think that people were lining up around the block to buy the Wii at launch, but believe me when I say that almost everyone wanted a taste of those motion controls. They seemed like such a novel concept at the time. Finally, the future had arrived. Our movements in the real world could be translated into every game we play. And when you consider that the console was built on that, it was exciting. How could Zelda take advantage of this? What would first-person shooters be like? What about racing games? Fighting games? I, I know it's silly now, and the overacting in these commercials just make the whole thing seem even stupider in hindsight. But the possibilities for games felt endless back then, and I think the Wii's astronomical sales figures should speak volumes. Nintendo had bet on a revolution, their revolution, and it had seemingly paid off. Let's take a look at how that happened. The goal of the Wii and its interface was to ensure accessibility. The ways in which players interact with the console and its games needed to be universally understood. Their solution? Well, let me put it this way. You know how in the electronics department of a Walmart or Target they have rows of televisions all displaying a different channel? That's what they did with the Wii. I'm sure we all have our own memories with the Wii menu, and I'll talk about a few of my own, but the one that is most relevant here is that my parents figured out how to navigate the menu before I did. It perfectly emulated a motion they were already familiar with, channel surfing. All you had to do was point and click, and the plus and minus buttons could flip through pages and channels. The design was clever, but the atmosphere was what sold it for me. Coming off of the GameCube menu, which always seemed to represent the space between games that allowed for a moment of reflection, I was amazed at how the Wii menu managed to carry a similar feeling in an entirely different way. Like the electronics department in a supermarket, each channel has idle animations. Certain channels even display information without you having to do anything, meaning that as soon as you turn the Wii on, you can get a glimpse at the forecast, headlines from your local news, photos from your SD card, questions and possible answers to polls, contests, Mario Kart tournaments, and so much more. As your digital library expands, so too will the amount of things to look at. There was so much life in the Wii menu, and to this day it remains my favorite console interface of all time. It acted as a central hub for everyone in the house, regardless of whether or not they played video games regularly. But it wasn't just the universal accessibility that resonated with people. It was the theming, which was tied together by the ambient music composed by Kazumi Totaka. The rapid and seemingly random nature of the notes in this song are also soft and calming, and it unifies the Wii menu's incessant amount of information beautifully. There is a quaint simplicity to the Wii menu in that regard, and I can recall moments where I would just flip through the Wii channels, scroll through my messages, or otherwise just stare at the idle activity without clicking on anything, and just taking it all in. Like the GameCube, the Wii asks you a simple question. What do you want to play? Although in this case, it's more accurate to say, what do you want to do? It poses that question in a stark contrast to the GameCube's Black Void, but the Wii menu is especially memorable in its own right for the variety, customizability, and familiarity it offers. Let's talk about the features of the Wii for a second. For most of the Wii's life, the following channels would come pre-installed. The Disc Channel for playing games, the Mii Channel for creating Miis, the Forecast and News Channel, the Wii Shop Channel, and the Photo Channel for messing around with the photos on your Wii and SD card. Every game you insert has a little animation to accompany it on the disc channel, which gives you a taste of what's to come. With my most anticipated Wii games like Super Smash Bros. Brawl, for example, it was enough to get me excited all over again. I was seconds away from finally playing a game I'd waited years for, and the channel animation would be electrifying. The forecast and news channels gave credence to the idea that the Wii menu was meant as a central hub for your family. I distinctly remember jumping out of bed every morning and turning on the Wii in my room to check the forecast. 
The photo channel was rather gimmicky in hindsight, but its simplicity brought my family together from time to time. It's funny to think about this now, but smartphones rendered these channels obsolete by the time we had reached the early 2010s. That said, it's fun to reflect on the impact they had on the Wii's family-oriented focus. The way we go about our days has changed dramatically since the Wii came out. And it's funny to think that something like the forecast channel, or applying funny filters to photos, was an exciting prospect at one point. In contrast to the GameCube, which shied away from online functionality in most areas, the Wii was designed from the very beginning to use the internet in as many ways as it could, for the sake of both convenience and fun. Before I had a cell phone, I remember exchanging friend codes with my friends so that we could play online games together and message each other on the Wii message board. You could even post memos on the message board for people in your household to see. I used this feature to provide insightful social commentary as you can see here. Most of the system's online services operated on a service known as Wii Connect 24. It allowed the Wii's disk slot to glow blue when in standby mode to indicate that you had a new message or that you'd received something from Nintendo. You could even send emails and SMS text messages from the Wii message board, which is a little absurd, but worth mentioning. Still, it attempted to further solidify the Wii as a family hub not just for entertainment, but also communication. I have fond memories of coming home from school and being excited to see the disc slot glowing blue. It always meant that there was something new to check out. There were downloadable channels on the Wii that took advantage of the Wii message board and Wii Connect 24. The Everybody Votes channel would just run polls every now and then that you could participate in, but the Check Me Out channel was where I sunk a lot of time. I shouldn't have to explain what a me is. Creating me's of myself, my friends, my family, and Steve Harvey has provided me with hours of entertainment. The process of making these, like most other things on the Wii, is simple and fun, and you have a wealth of customizable options for just about everything on your Mii's head. Mii's are so accessible and customizable, in fact, that people have been able to use the tools at their disposal to create Mii's of just about any character you could possibly imagine. The Check Me Out channel showcased this best. You could post your own Mii's and download ones from around the world, and it held contests in which people had to create Mii's that fit into a certain theme. This is where most people gained access to the goofy Mii's you've likely seen, if they hadn't just used a Peter Griffin Mii tutorial off the internet. And because you could use your Mii in many Wii games when playing online, you bet I saw plenty of Peter Griffins in my day on Mario Kart. Mii's allowed for a degree of personal expression and theming that I don't think any console profile has been able to rival today, at least when it comes to fun, simplicity, and creativity. The point I'm trying to make by showcasing all of these online features is that Nintendo fully embraced the possibilities of the internet in their own ways. While they still implemented online multiplayer and downloadable games as their competitors did, and I'll discuss the ups and downs of those things later, these channels were distinct from anything else their contemporaries attempted and strengthened the overall uniqueness of the Wii. Take the Nintendo Channel, for example. It might seem like it only hosted trailers for Nintendo games and pushed promotional material to your message board. But it also hosted Nintendo Week with Gary and Allison. You know the light Gary and dark Gary meme? Nintendo Week got there first. The Nintendo Channel also allowed you to download demos to your Nintendo DS, which I remember doing as frequently as possible. I couldn't buy many games as a kid, but this at least gave me the chance to try them out. These were elements that made owning a Wii such a one-of-a-kind experience, and contributed to Nintendo's abstract thinking in developing the console. Some of my fondest memories with the Wii have been making and downloading Miis from the Check Me Out channel, or watching Mario collect those coins when downloading stuff from the Wii Shop channel. Unfortunately, Wii Connect 24 was terminated long ago. I haven't seen that blue light glow in many years. The only traditional thinking when it came to the online infrastructure of the Wii was through its phenomenal take on backwards compatibility. Matt! Yeah? Update day! What? New Wii, new Wii titles! What? I'm in the bathroom. Update day for the Wii Shopping Channel! It's funny because normally they do it at midnight, but it's like 11. It's like 11.15. By far, the most substantial amount of downloadable content from the Wii Shop Channel came from the Virtual Console. You might have heard of it. Because everybody knows about the Wii Shopping Channel, yeah. and everybody loves to shop on it every Wednesday. It allowed you to purchase and download emulated versions of past Nintendo games. This was one of the major talking points during the Wii's first mention at E3 2005. 
Iwata wanted to eliminate clutter in people's households by making sure the Wii could play all of Nintendo's past games. So along with the Wii's native backward compatibility with GameCube games and nearly all of its peripherals, which allowed those that skipped the GameCube to experience everything they'd missed out on, you'd also have the option to buy and play NES, Super NES, and Nintendo 64 games at your leisure. The service would later go on to support Commodore 64, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, TurboGrafx-16, Neo Geo, even arcade games were on there. At the system's launch, the original Legend of Zelda and Super Mario 64 were available to purchase on the Wii Shop channel to wet players' appetites, but new games would be added every single week. So while there weren't many games at first, the service eventually hosted a plethora of classic games from across Nintendo's history, nearly everything you could ask for aside from Earthbound. I swear, the Wii had the best backwards compatibility during the 7th generation. The PlayStation 3 came close with its downloadable PS1 and PS2 games, and its ability to play discs from the previous generations, but the removal of the original PS2 compatibility hurt its viability in the long run, and it took a very long time for the PlayStation Store to become as filled out as the Wii Shop Channel. I mean, the Wii Shop Channel had... Super Mario RPG Sonic Ah! Alright, we're back. Adventures of Lolo One and... How's it going, folks? Let's get back into this. Oh, I meant... You didn't know that? I thought it was a reasonable assumption to make. I thought all dudes knew that. Hey, hey Jim, did you know girls don't pee out of their vaginas? Are you kidding me? That's what I'm saying. Holy shit. Where do you keep your alcohol? I don't understand how you made it this far in life without someone explaining I'm it. actually super... Have you had, like, a girlfriend? Uh, super Someone interested to look into more of this. Explain that to you. Uh, I had a girlfriend. You are 19. <laughs> 19! <laughs> into this channel because I didn't know. This is actually like really well produced. And you haven't had a And I had no idea that Aaron was like. I don't even think you into this. this is awesome. That's so funny. It reminds me a lot of, um, like Scott the Waz, who is also in Ohio, funnily enough. Um, yeah. That's, that's awesome. Put on you, Aaron. Okay, let's get back this, that, done. All right, we're back. Depending on how long this goes, this may be my last ranked game of the day. Um, because of over or Overwatch, uh, Smash Brothers practice starts at four my time, and I know Valorant games can take a little bit to uh, wrap up. So, with that in mind, maybe doing that. This is a My Hero Academia mix. I... Did I already go through them? Shot. Yeah, why did... Okay, I must have clicked on something. No wonder I was just hearing My Hero music. I don't remember putting all of this in my playlist, but alright. There we go. Down. Take me down. I want to on the side. I, 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 I. Go, go, Gamma Ranger. What's up, everyone? Hey, what's up, Mr. Nimbus? Hey, what's going on, Mr. Nimbus? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, guys. Say the line. 
Man, I didn't even know there was a line, but now I'm invested. Yeah, I don't I don't know exactly what line you want me to say. What what's your what's your favorite line? Well, okay, first off, where did you get the inspiration for Mr. Nimbus? Because there are a couple different Mr. Nimbuses that I'm yeah, aware of. Yeah, I've heard of. that. I've heard that. But I got it from Rick and Morty. Okay, then you know the line. Don't, don't, don't try and cheat us. I am Mr. Nimbus. There it is! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put your heart into it, though. You gotta be like... <clears throat> Let's see, yeah, yeah. I am Mr. Nimbus! Yeah, that was you good. touched I the ocean, it. Rick! <laughs> Alright, what are we feeling here, folks? Bro, I have no idea. I already fucking hate this map, so... I'm trying to play a little bit of Yoru here, if you guys don't mind. Oh, bro, I don't mind at all, bro. Do you think? But... Trust me, you'll... you'll... do better. Oh, I'm gonna be at the bottom of the leaderboard. Hey, 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 no, that's, uh... We don't, we don't like that kind of talk here. You're gonna be at the top no. of the leaderboard in my heart, you know? No, y'all are just so good. That I'm gonna be at the bottom, you know. Oh, you you flatter us, you flatter us. <sighs> Water. Water. Go mm. go, Power Ranger. I'm not muted. Am I? Okay, no. Thank God. That would have been embarrassing. No one can ever take me down, take them down. With lies on their side. I, 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 I. Boom, boom, boom. I tell you, I remember watching this show when I was young. We watched, I watched the like original '90s version of the. Uh, what was it? it? Was the Dino Dino Range? What is it called? Hold on. I think they retroactively changed the name of it to be something else. Um, but the dinosaur ones, that's that's what I had. I think I even had like a like a mask. Like a Red Ranger mask. Ja. Alright boys, let's get this bread. Two one. Time to jump. Please don't hit the wall. Please hit the wall. Ooh. Oh, there's a there's a chat in the oh yeah on the very back. Oh, I shouldn't. Yeah, that was my bad. We should have just backed out there, honestly. Yeah. I mean, I, I tried to back out. I got that one. Nah, we're good, though. We get round two. One round. One round, yeah. We win this easy. And I still have full utility, so that's kind of nice. Wait, do, do not buy me. Do not buy me. That was a mistake. You're good. You're good. I'm going to push up... Uh, through tube here, the kitchen. You guys wanna make a lot of noise, B. Oh fuck yeah, brother. Time to jump. And we're sneaking, and we're sneaking. I hear some mid. Watch out for Bondo. Probably, probably coming to you, Yo, careful. One oh my gosh! The perfect flash. I should have just flashed the wall. Oh, my health, my health is gone. Dude, I didn't hear him walking up. Nice kill. That was uh, KO in kitchen. He's down one flash. You were on stage, man. Just rotate. Yeah, one. Uh, he's coming out too. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, one's, one was mid, one was mid. Someone is B. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, wait, I swear if it's. 
Okay, it's not. Bot coming back. Thirty seconds left. Yeah, so like half of these didn't even play. I don't know <gasps> what happened there, but all right. One upper, one lower. Nice kill. Oh, nice try. Yeah. That, that was just that was just the ego dip. And now we can pull by. Yeah. Yeah. I may have bought a shirt in the first round, but I do not regret that. Oh my gosh. Over here. Cutting through. Out of charge. There's someone coming up then. My turret be going crazy. Jet snowman hit 80. One enemy remaining. That could have been bad. Hey, no shots. Alright, but we're back on top here. We're back on top here. Nothing could ever... Or nothing bad could ever happen here. Surely not. Thanks, Edward. Uh, do you guys want to push tube with me? Or at least one of y'all? I'm down. I can get on top. <laughs> but oh, you can. Oh, that is true as hell. Time to jump. Cover going out. You don't even gotta do all that. Don't miss this. I can always. Can't use it. Let me go for this. Oh my gosh, he killed me in the masks! Uh, one snowman, one A. Raise the snowman. One enemy remaining. My ultimate is well, ready. Bro, I'm so ass. <laughs> She's in kitchen. There's oh, no come on. You guys got this? Do we have... Do we have blind? I hit her for 40. Cage triggered. Nice, good job, good job, good job. What the fuck is my aim right now, bro? That's my fault. I didn't know. The Sage and I. No, I wait, really gosh, I it used my. Use my that shit was crazy. I need a drop. Appreciate it. I got you next round, if need be. Can we scout out A with Omenal? That'd be, that'd be a good idea. Nice. Oh, you piled it. You're, you're crazy. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. Nice trade, nice trade. Yeah, y'all can back out if need be. Back out, back out. I got this. Oh, they're going to mid. They're gonna be mid. Wait, wait, wait. Just say, just say, just say. Are we playing this or? Can you watch mid? I'll have quick second, sir. I don't want to drop it. 30 
30 seconds left. Need to get turret down. Enemy spotted me. Planted the spike. Jets at 80. Last player standing. Damn, I can't believe she knew I was up there. Oh, nice try, nice try. Nice try, yo. I actually can't believe she peeked me, like all the way up there. Pass and watch the movement. Yeah. I have a oh, feeling that this can be a very good game for me. Juicy fucking so bad in there. Jeff was like working mid. She dashed toward uh, for a. Yeah, I don't have time. Just grab a gun and save. Ten seconds I'm left. Have a guardian. If I run out there, I might just get fucking blasted. Probably gonna need to save here, folks. Here. You want us to go there, Omen, and we can just go. You want to push up med? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you might want to smoke under two of them, too. I'm gonna play like, default on B. That's true. Come time to jump. Watch out for Kaya. Deep. Oh, we don't fucking commit to be. Oh, I'm stupid as hell. Someone is B. Alright, so let's get some big ults here. We could use KJ on A. Push it off to that. We can just form A, yeah. Rise! We're a very defensive sided team, so we just kind of need to get onto a site and then set up. Yes. True. The best case, we're probably playing for picks, because I don't know how we're gonna, like, I don't know how we're gonna pass the other Viper. Uh, well, I mean, I have all. We, we need to literally just swarm side. I just need to get close enough, that's the thing. Cutting through. You are oh, fuck. Can't use that. Just wait for it. And toward us. Yeah. Can't use that. Rotate. He's pushing up. 
Do you want me to ult? Big tilt. If we rotate, they're gonna win. Ready. Raise at 114. Play back side, we can just hold this. Oh fuck, I forgot what the button was though. Not bad. Alright, no, you're good, you're good. I still have one on. Here. Mid, 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 mid. You guys got it, you guys got it. Just back up. Yeah. Let me clear up B with my ult. You got it. Play kind of passive because my TP is going to take a little bit to get into position. Here. Here. One all the way back there. Out of charges. I'm back. I'm right here. Damn, that worked. Oh. 82 on KJ. They can get res off. Spike carrier down. Yeah, I'm gone, Spike down. B. It's B. Or not KJ, KO. Reloading. Satchel out. Come on, guys. Shadows traveling. Welcome to my world. Just rotate. No choice. Thirty seconds left. No matter one mid, careful. That'd be. Ness, 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 up, up, up. Nice and lower. Okay. Nice. Nice. My ultimate is ready. You don't have time now. He's got the gun, Mike. Aw, nice try. Nice try. Good try, good try, good try. I think this is, um, like silver goldish. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah, King and Victor saying this is a uh, like silver goldish. I haven't played a Valorant in a while, and I haven't gotten placed in a long bit. But I was like silver gold when I um, played, or when I did uh, place last time. Time to jump. Well, I didn't realize two people were buying. Viper oh, mid. Uh, back, back, Spike side, side, side. A. I didn't even see that bitch. Blinding. My side. Not there. Last player standing. 
Uh, they got a good crossfire. Nice, when are the scrims? Uh, I, I scrims are... In like... Top of the hour. Top of the hour scrims. Uh, but I might not hop in until like, after... This, well, I won't hop in to talk to this game. I'm not sure if you call it scrims per se, because I'm not in college. I'm more just like, helping them practice. Because I was part of the team, but then I uh... I dipped, or not dipped, but I graduated. <laughs> Dip made it sound like I dropped out. Uh... That knife is so low. One seventeen to HP. Still good. Time to jump. Reload. Nice. Fake teleport. Pump one. Cutting through. One flank. Oh, yeah, flank, flank, flank. Careful, she got ult. Unlucky timing. Keep following. Cool, I'll be here to watch. How's their team looking so far? She jumped. Um, oh their God, team is actually not bad. So we had a couple players come in that were that hadn't touched like Smash before at all, or like really any fighting game. Hold on. Um, and so, so yeah, so we had a couple players that come in had come in that really hadn't played Smash before. Some that had tried Smash. Oh man. We, Damn, unfortunate. Uh, some that had tried Smash but had never been like in the competitive uh, scene, really, and some that um, were like sort of familiar with the higher level Smash stuff, but again, like hadn't really ever uh, applied it anywhere. Um, and so that, that was kind of me too, because I had a pretty good understanding of like competitive Smash, but I just hadn't really been to a lot of tournaments really. Um, of course, there's always room for improvement, um, uh, she, like with any program. But I think <laughs> need to buy here. I think our team has probably some of the highest like work ethic players in the league, like honestly. Because we, um, we have our own, we have our own uh, esports league, like our, our college does. Let's see, um, so I think we're gonna do pretty well. I know a couple players. Oh, what? Ah. Uh, I know a couple players. Um, one of my one of my friends, John. He's been played on the Overwatch and Valorant team. And for Valorant specifically, I know he started out not ever having touched a game like that. Never, not ever having touched a uh, what are they called? There's a term for the shooters like these. Uh, I can't think of it. Uh, but he never touched it, and he's up It'll to plat now, I think, in the span of like less than two years. Um, so, and like he he works, he grinds like any game that he plays or any game that he's interested in. So, I know he's he's definitely got the potential to improve to a, a high degree, and I'd say that's true for basically anybody on the team. Yo, he wasted all. He wasted all. Now are you, uh, King Invictus, I don't recognize your name from anywhere, but are you part of the, uh, the league that we're in? Are you interested in going to the school, or are you just here for the, here for the fun? Acting as any sort of coach? No, I'm not acting as any sort of coach. I'm just there because I really enjoy the program. Um, it was my first foray into, um, esports. Um... Back in 2018 is when I started school. Just here for the fun, man. Awesome. Glad to have you. Um, yeah, no, so it was just um, first foray in esports. I had always been interested in video games and competing because I was never, like, big into sports, really. And a lot of the sports uh, I just didn't, like, want to compete in or have really any interest in competing in. Um, so... Um, yeah, I just like the program. The people there were really great. Um, coaching staff is great. One of my friends actually started in the program um, as someone who had never touched esports, had never played on PC before, and he is now the 
um, assistant coach oh, yeah. for the esports program there at Tiffin University. Um, but yeah, I just love the program. Um, it's great to like hang out with people there, and I'm glad to help them out in any way that I can. And most oh, of the time, goes. that yeah. entails just uh, being around to help either fill in with um, fill in with practices no or way. just you know be another helping hand or do whatever. So. That's awesome. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, I definitely recommend it to. Definitely recommend it to anybody who's interested. Um, and collegiate and high school esports programs are really gaining a lot of traction right now. Uh, it's kind of like the trickle down effect where colleges were kind of the first to adopt the esports as like a a stable like a as like a competitive uh, thing that they could add, you know, to their roster. Um, and then now I know one of the um, the original head coach there um, was uh, instrumental in Oh my gosh, everybody was blind except for the Jets. Um he was very instrumental in creating the Ohio esports like the high school level Ohio esports scene. And so yeah, it's just a kind of like a passion of mine. Um, I really enjoy doing it and uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. How about you? Are you in school? Are you interested in uh, esports at all? Or even like local level competition. Absolutely. Yeah, esports. Um, I'm really excited for the high school level because I think that's where it's best to like grow the scene. Because um, you know a lot of kids nowadays are very. Ooh, wow! Cut right through them. Um, I got mad, confused at the end there. That knife killed me there. Um, because, like, a lot of kids, right, they're interested in it from a young age, but it's a bit harder for them to, like, get into the scene, right? Because, you know, there wasn't that infrastructure there, like, five years ago. And so, now with um, high school programs kind of joining in on the mix... Uh, yeah, we gotta buy here. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's great, and it's gonna definitely help keep the scene alive and foster new talent. Time to jump. Mid. Mid and A. Damn, I'm ass. I hit her for. Oh yeah. no, that's a spot. No shot. I hit her. I shoot two bullets, hit her once. Alright, we're doing bad TPs out here. Do not take this gameplay <laughs> as uh, scripture because this is not. <laughs> this is not how you want to be playing this game. But yeah, as for me, with my my experience with esports, I uh, I joined in 2018. I joined for the Overwatch team, and then when I when I joined, there were whispers of like Smash becoming a thing, but it didn't really pan out for our program in particular. I know other schools were able to um, get their Smash programs. Nice shots. One enemy remaining. Nice shots, Rose. Um. I know some, some other schools in our league were able to get their Smash programs up and running um, a bit faster than ours was. But so I joined with Overwatch, I came in, I made Varsity my freshman year. I played with them for over four years because I was at the school for four years plus a semester. Um, so I w Well actually no, I only played Overwatch for four years because my last semester we were out of season so I didn't play then. Um, I was there with the Valorant team when... Uh, Valorant was added to the list of games that our schools competed in, uh, and so I was part of the original Valorant team. And uh, but after that, I kind of took a step back because we just got better players. Like we had players from our old CS team start joining and stuff. So I kind of was just there as a um, like a backup fill, um, and I kind of moved a bit more to casting. Ooh, fun. Well, I could do a gambit here. Somebody's in there. 
Oh shit. Uh, um, wow, they have to use his ability on that. I hit him for one. I hit KO for 114. Hold on, I'll get back to my point after I make this flank. Spike planted. Portal closed. Here. To your right. Deep. Cutting through. Oh my bad. What the fuck's going on? Oh, I timed that TP wrong. Our Overwatch team was pretty good. So when I joined, um... Uh, nice try, nice try. Um, my bad, you know, the timing was just so good. Our over so, actually, let me oh, finish yeah. my uh, other thing. So yeah, I was with, with Valorant for a while. Um, I kind of took a step back once we started getting better players. Um, and then for the last semester, I was a part of the um, Smash team because we were able to finally get enough people in the program to um, warn us. Or like, we got enough people interested in the uh, in, in Smash to make it like uh, one of our games that we competed in. Um, so for the last semester, I was a part of that. Uh, that was my main game. Time to jump. Um, but I've also filled in for the leak team. Oh wait, this is not gonna work. Oh fuck! Damn! Thank you. Oh my god! Oh uh, hit 37 on Kale, and 37. Oh wait, never mind. Um, so our Overwatch team is a funny story. Had an interesting story. So when I first joined, um, our first team was like high plat to low diamond. That's and um, I was with them for like a year and a half, two years, I think. And then basically everybody except for me and like one of our other varsity players um, left the program because uh, they just were suffering from burnout really bad. And so um, we had to do a lot of restructuring for the team. And so that in-between period was kind of rough, but... The year we after that, we got those. a ton of people. in <laughs> that flash spot is crazy. Yeah. Um. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Two. I whipped. I'll handle this. Fuck! 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 Oh god, they do everything on me, bro. Welcome to my world. Spike down A. No, oh my gosh, that would have been such a spray. One enemy um. Oh, they got the res. They're both uh both a men. Um. Damn, I have, if I have one more bullet there, I win that. Um. They don't have a vandal, bro. What the fuck? So. I'm watching. Um. Our second Smash team that like, or no, sorry, second Overwatch team that came in. Um. We had a lot yeah, of good players. Player. We had a Masters player. Um, actually, we had two Masters players. We had a um, couple diamonds. And at that point, I had reached um, mid diamond. So I was like 3,200 at my pick when I played with them. Nice, nice. Um, and so most of the people there on that second team, that second iteration of the team, are still there right now. We got a top 500 Lucio okay, player, and um, just some other players that are um, that are pretty high ranked, like you know diamonds, uh, mid diamonds, or high diamonds. So our team is pretty good. We have to fight against O and U and um, Bethel University, and because they're bigger schools than us, they've just got some. Uh, they're able to afford some better players. But when I played, we. My oh, team made it to the semi-finals oh, um, for that final season that I was there. Um, and it was really unfortunate because the yes, match, yeah, uh, or like the, the game that we that we so. won to get to land, because our, our, final, um, our finals are like an actual in-person competition. Aside from that, all of them are done um, online. Oh, one kitchen, one kitchen. oh my gosh, he TP'd and got it. What a mad lad. Planted. On site? One's just lurking on site. They're on B, they're on B, guys. Oh, they are on B. 
They're on the they're on the money. There we go. Race was in our spawn. Sage was at 44 by Um, what was I saying? You might have healed though. Uh, da 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 Oh, but yeah, so no, our Overwatch team is pretty good. Um, oh yeah, there's a team that we beat to get to land, right? Was like, one of the ones that we were worried about the most. Oh, I missed it. Good game. Oh, unfortunate. Um, yeah, so the team that we beat to get into the game was the school school that was hosting the event, so it was ONU, and it was a really tough game. And the team that we faced in the semis knew that they couldn't beat the team that would be the teams that would be in the finals. So their end game was to beat us. Like they trained solely to beat our team comp and our play style. And so um, you know they ended up beating us unfortunately and then they got crushed by the other two teams that were still in the in the um, bracket at that point, but um, I think our team right now is at one of its strongest iterations, um, and I'd say they have a pretty good chance at going pretty far um, this this season. So, um, if you want to watch them or are interested in the program, um, they have a Twitch channel and everything. Tiffin University Esports. Um, it is a lot of fun. All right, let me. Message about Smash here, yeah. Yes. Can you finish it? All right, let's get this Smash content going. Pause that for a second. That down. So yeah. As for our Smash team, when I played, because a lot of the people that joined when um our team started were like brand new to the game, we got trucked like every game. Um. But, I mean, that's to be expected. Like, you know, what are you going to do? Like, dog on them for learning the game? Like, no, that's that's not cool. Um, and it's just not it's just not productive, so. Um, oh, no, not that. Um, so, yeah, our Smash team last semester wasn't good, but I can see them getting much better um, this coming semester, or, like, this semester. So let me get all this set up. I think I went like one and two for the day. That matters now. There we go. So let me. Perfect. There we go. All right. You can probably find some old VODs of my gameplay. Um, from the last semester, I know we have a we have two YouTube channels. One of them is defunct and um was used like when I first joined the program. Um, and when we because at first we didn't have a league, so we played in like online um brackets and stuff. I think we played for uh what was the what's the one Tespa. We played for Tespa. Um, and so there are some old VODs of we played in TESPA that are really awful. And then there are, um, I'm pretty sure there are recordings out there of when I played with the, the second iteration of the team were really good. I know there is a video of us playing the ONU match, which is really fun because um, that was probably the peak level of gameplay with that second iteration of the team because we had to face this top 500 uh, Junkrat player named... Uh, what's his name? Oh my gosh, what was it? Dizian, Dizian. We had to place Dizian. That's what his name was. Um, and the first two matches that we played, we uh, stop it. The first two matches we played. We lost. Yeah, Junkrat is one of my least favorite to play against. So we, it's a, it was a best of five, best of five set. We lost game one, then we lost game two, then we tied or we drew game three on Hanamura. We swapped out our main tank for another one of our players. Actually, the the one that I mentioned earlier, um, this guy John. Um, we swapped him in, 
and then we proceeded to reverse sweep them. Um, I actually, hold on, let me, I have a video saved of the moment that we won uh, for that. Let me just find it here. It's in. I have it saved somewhere, I'm just not 100% sure where. Able to obtain IP address. Pause. I'm wired in, I'm wired in. I am connected, right? Yeah. Oh! Something's being fishy here. Internet's going crazy. One moment here, let me see what's going on. I've got a power line connector hooked up to my switch so I can play on Ethernet and not get as bad of a lag, but it's currently acting kind of funky. So let me see if I can fix this really quick. Yeah, I swear I had this moment saved somewhere, but I'm not sure where it is. Let me... I will be right back while I figure out what's up with my internet. Give me two minutes. Okay, I think we're good. Let's see. Wired connection. All the lights are green on my adapter. That was weird, I don't know why that was acting up like that. Right. Is the good. We're gonna have a little bit of downtime here downtime here while I communicate with my old friend slash assistant coach and get the uh, information needed to actually play. But in the meantime, I can try and locate that video if I saved it anywhere. I have anything? Cause I I made a new YouTube channel, so. 
so all the ones that I have sold or uh, saved were gone. Played the Warner Brothers. Oh, uh, multiverses? No, my friend has. Um, my friend has wanted me to play it, but I have not. Um, I have not played it yet. Um, it, it looks kind of fun, but at the same time. Uh, I, I just like to Smash too much to really want to try any other fighting game, especially ones that are in the same vein as like the, um, uh, I don't know if they're like a party brawler, I guess. Um, things like, uh, uh, what's it, Rivals of Aether and, uh, uh, what's it called? The one that we just mentioned. Oh my gosh, I'm blanking. Um, multiverses and stuff. I, like, for me, Smash is the pinnacle of that type of game design, and so there's not too much of an interest for me to try it, but I am wanting to try Riot Games' fighting game when it comes out, that Project L. I don't, I don't think it has an official name yet, but um, I am wanting to try that when, when that comes out, just because I've been playing Riot Games' games for a while, and um, for the most part, I think their gameplay experiences are pretty solid, so... I definitely wanted to invest some time into that once it releases. I really wish I could find this video because I know it's somewhere. It might be... It might be in here. I might have saved it. Okay, so... Yeah, 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 you can... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's so loud, hold on. I gotta figure out how to... Can't see my other monitor right now, so I have to... So this is the moment that we beat O and U in that best of five, the reverse sweep. Now I made an edit of this with the ending music to Rocky, like playing behind it when he um, finishes the fight against Apollo Creed in that first movie. But I don't know where that edit went, um, or if I saved it anywhere. So this is just the raw, the raw one. Let me make sure. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. Hide my So hold on, let me let me point out. So this these two are supports. Um that's me right there. We have our tank here. The the tank that we subbed in, John is I think in the back somewhere. Or he might be up here. Um and then this guy right here is Kurt and he is he was my um he was one of the player that ascended to the assistant coach role. Bring, bring, bring. And then this was the other tank that played the first two games or three games. Our whole goal for this for this season was was to make it to land. And this is funny because so this is this is um oh my gosh what a moment um so they so they got a bunch of new stuff for the arena um the esports arena after this and so it looks a lot different than. When um, than what it does now, like so right now, this is still kind of the same. Um, the yeah, so this is all basically the same. But if you go over to, to here, so like where this couch is here, um, there's like tables here, like um, with monitors for our Nintendo Switches and stuff, and then 
this, let's see if we can see it here. Yeah, so like this back corner here, um, you've got two big TVs over here with another um, like a PC over here to cast to them. And then there's like this big open sectional couch here for um, for VOD review and stuff. And then we got a whole bunch of wall art too of like the games that we compete in and stuff. Um, and we also have some, uh, we also have a trophy case thing as well. Um, because our school won the 2018 Counter-Strike Championship for our league. And then they were runner-up two years in a row, um, both this last year and the year before it. Um, so our Valorant team is actually really good. We had a, we had a rank... I believe his highest was rank 5. I may be wrong on that. He may have gotten further than that. But he was the rank 5 player um, in Valorant. And um, uh, and yeah, then we had a bunch of... We had like a couple Immortals. Um, and so our Valorant team is incredibly good. Uh, and a, a pleasure to watch. So I definitely would recommend checking out them because I think in terms of... Well, actually, a lot of our games are really good too. I know we have... Um, some really high-level Rocket League players as well, um, and uh, yeah, they're just uh really great at what they do. But that was a really hype moment. Should have sent you the Hello. Hello. How's it going? You're very staticky. Oh, I can barely understand you. Let's get these. You're cutting in and out bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm on my phone, so I, my phone doesn't like Discord. Yes, that is apparent. All right. HG. I'm putting in the lobby code right now. You are also on stream, by the yeah. way. That's fine. All right, we get back to the ring. that overlay. There we go. So yeah, no, yeah, it was it was really great. I wish we had more moments from our games, but honestly, like that was the one that was worth saving. And the guy filming it was the old head coach and. One of the main people who set up uh, Esports Ohio for the high school level. Oh, sorry, I'm talking to this guy in chat, my bad. I should have muted myself. Do, do I need- Do you want home or do you want home? Uh, I'll take, I'll take. So I'll ban out um, Kalos and, uh, you know, I just, I'll just ban Kalos because I have to get one ban, right? Um, a little. Town and city. Town and city, and what else? Uh, uh, you you might need to type it out because you cut out like incredibly bad. <laughs> I think yeah. <laughs> Let me uh, let me go into the general. Um, something about our program, though. So Smash, typically, if you're familiar with um, how it's normally run, is done like one in one double elimination. Um, for our league, we are doing it as a crew battle. So it's two teams of three. Each player has three stocks. You have to uh, totally eliminate your enemy player's three stocks before moving on to the next opponent. And if you don't, they can take the remaining stocks into the next fight. Um, so for this practice, I will be acting as a team of four um, because we have four players at the arena right now. And there's no sense in just shortening it for, you know, whatever's sake. So, um, yeah, that's how it's going to be formatted. Hello, how's it going? I'm doing good. It's good. Been a hot second. Yeah. So, you said you banned Kalos, I banned Battlefield, and uh, Town and City. 
All right, we're gonna go to PS2 then. All right, I'll give I'll give you a show here, King Invictus. I'll pull out all the stops. Let's just hope I don't get clowned on here. Choose your fighter, Captain Falcon. One of the things that I want to do later on in the year is I want to uh, I want to get more involved with the Smash scene here in St. Louis. Um, because I just love, like, in-person competition is just, it's different. Alright, John. Let's see what you got. There is a little bit of input lag for sure. I gotta lock in here. Not performing as I want to. There we go, okay. Tried it. I sure hope not. Say yes. Oh, let's go. Okay, okay. All right, that that one was for you, King Invictus. That need was for you. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's just the Falcon magic, bro. All right, all right, all right. Gotta get warmed up here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Take all the time you need. Thank you, thank you. If you're ever wanting to play, um, I can for sure fit you in, and we can do, we can run a couple. Not probably not scrim wise, but just um, you know one on ones for for funsies. So I win. So I ban three.
controller is kind of like slippery. But I'm not like right. sweating. So I'm swinging in general because I noticed your body. It's an incredibly fun game. Um, <laughs> sorry, I've, I got a chatter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, it's an, it's an incredibly fun game, um, and it's really easy to learn, um, or it's easy to pick up. There's a lot that you can learn, um, but honestly, um, it's great for beginners. Uh, what, what's the what's the term I'm looking for? Low low skill floor, high skill ceiling. That's what I'm looking for. And if you have a decent PC, you can get um, a lot of different versions of the game too. I know emulators um, run Melee. Melee scene is huge, um, or like, I don't know if huge is the right term, but it's healthy. It's very active. Um, and they've done a ton of investment into making it, uh, into like bringing it up to speed with other esports. Um, so you can do like fully online play with Welcome like loping and stuff. Um, hey, thanks, Austin, for uh, joining. Um, uh, you can do like fully online play, low ping with um, with melee, which is incredible. It's it, it's really insane. But definitely, I would recommend uh, getting into it if you're looking for a fun new game to try out. If you're looking for uh, other emotes too, I've got the I got the uh, Seven TV app in, or uh, Seven TV extension enabled, so I've got a ton of apps. Or an app, like emotes and stuff. Um, so if you want to, and if there's anything else you need to know, um, or like have questions on, I think there's a command. I think there's like a, a help command or something that will list all the different commands in stream. Yeah, I haven't looked into setting up an emulator for melee, um, but. But I don't think they're too hard to set up. So yeah, stream's been live for three hours. I start, um, and I start at 1 p.m. CST and end at 7 p.m. CST. A banjo game? I can do that. Um, but it'll have to be my second character. Oh, let me get some music going on too. It might clash with the uh, Ash music, but there's. Wait, do you do you um? Can can you hear the desktop audio of people in the chat if I start playing? If I start playing music? Okay. I didn't think so, but... Not right now? It's I got stuff playing on YouTube right now, but I don't know if you guys can hear it. I don't use voice meter right now, no. Um, I think I would have to add a second input to capture my desktop audio um, when I'm using my Nintendo Switch. I I will get voice meter soon enough though because I want to do it to where I can play DMCA music on stream, but then when I export those VODs to YouTube, I cut out the music portion. Yeah, I've got a I got a um, Elgato capture card from Kurt. Um, so yeah. What are your bands, I am gonna ban. Uh, I'm gonna ban FD, Town and City, and the Hollow Bastion. Okay. 
For a second, I thought I wasn't recording the VOD, and I was really scared. No oh, content. Uh, what what are we going to? What map are we going to? Uh, Kalos. Kalos, okay. Aaron, I watched your um, I started watching your video, dude, that you posted. I, I was like, I was like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on for a second, and then the first thing that I hear from the VOD is like. What? Girls don't pee out of their vaginas? And I was like, hey, yo, what is this? But the production quality looks really good. The lighting's great. Um, the style is pretty funny. I'm, I haven't looked at your other videos, but they look like, or from what I saw, they look very promising. You're officially retired from competitive Overwatch. Nice up B, nice up B. I'll do it for you, King Evictus. Nice job, nice job, nice job. Thank you. Made a decision to focus more on school, senior year, focus on internship and grades. Honestly, I don't blame you. Senior year's not the best time to fuck up, so respect. I'll try to promise a Banjo Kazooie game. Banjo and Kazooie! I'm gonna ban Battlefield, How Bastion, and Smash Um. Let's go to. Let's go to PS2. Okay. Humane Society for. Dog Warden Investigation on Animal Crimes. That's really interesting. I didn't know you had a passion for animals like that. <laughs> I hit John in the background. One shot. Oh yeah, that's right, my bad.
Nice lich trap. Austin, you better enjoy this banjo game because this is the last time I've ever played this dog water character. That one's for you, Austin. <laughs> nice game, Aaron. Nice game. Alright, I'm gonna ban out um, Kalos, FD, and PS2. You got it. You feeling better, Carter? I heard you were feeling sick or something the other day? Yeah, I had Oh, no fun, no fun. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad you're back in today. Nice counter.
Good, good. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Surprised you don't use the grenade more. Yeah, I just don't like how it takes a while to, um, to like stop. The end lag is kind of bad. No, if you if you hear me just saying random stuff, don't pay any attention to me. I got people talking to me and shit. We are going Smashville. What was that? Smashville. Okay. Uh, <sighs> oh my gosh, I didn't take my medicine. I'm tripping. Oh. <laughs> You good there on the other end? Trying to find Smashville. Oh, it's um, it's four rows down, three rows over. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Good games, Carter, good games. Well, Austin, how you been? When is that, uh, in Friday you have an interview? I'm guessing you're gonna need a pretty, like, thick skin if you're gonna be investigating animal crimes, cause I'd imagine that the lack of humanity some people can feel toward animals is pretty harsh. Yeah, I, uh, I ban here. Uh, I'm gonna ban Kalos, Town, and 
FD. Let's go. Let's go battlefield. Battlefield, right? Yeah. Let's hope you don't have to deal with anything too serious, but I can imagine that probably will. I have three. No diamond money here. Good game, good game. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> Bro, I was telling you the person I'm going to be working under was Shut called me. out to his neighbors for dog fights. Yes. Okay. Hello? Yeah? Oh, what's going on, DG? Not much, not much. Just uh, having a good day streaming. How about you? Uh, practicing. Practicing? That's how it would be. That's how it would be. Oh, okay, so Brett's neighbors were having dog fights and that that agent or whatever got called out to the house, okay. Are we doing bands or are we just practicing? Or... We're doing bands. Uh, I'm banning out uh, to Town and City, Kalos, and FD. Man, I feel like Brett has a story for like any situation. He's always got something, you know. Town and City, Kalos, and FD? Yep, those are the bands. Alrighty. Are you still not able to hear the YouTube music, uh, Austin?
Oh, I fucked up. Nice game, nice game, nice game. Alright, who's next? Who have I not fought yet? Yo, is uh is Denji playing? Is he on the team? Already, what are your bands? Uh same three. We're gonna ban Kalos, F D and uh Town. Kalos, F D and Town? Yep. Um uh, we'll do PS2. Is this a new rotation? Um, should we make it a new rotation? Uh, yeah, let's, let's, yeah. yeah, let's start a new rotation. Okay. Because okay, I, I fought everybody there, right? Oh, wait, what are we doing? Hold on. Uh, what stage? Aaron? Aaron! What? Uh, what stage are we doing? Oh, we're doing PS2. Okay. I, I fought everybody there, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh, I keep forgetting to change my stuff. Nice game, nice game, nice game. Oh, uh, that last game was against Aaron. Good old good Dr. Game, Wild. Good. good game, good game.
Wait, Austin, were you on the varsity team? And if so, who took your spot? Or, excuse me, spot. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna ban... I'm gonna ban Tau... Smashville and Hollow Bastion. Okay. We'll go with uh, Battlefield. Got you. Caleb and Landon. Wait, Landon wasn't on Varsity already? Or would he be switching roles? This is Carter now that I'm playing against. Gotcha. Well, then who takes the DPS role? Time it right. Oh, gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I forgot. I was like, wait a minute. Something's not right here. Something doesn't add up. Let's go. Let's go, Falco. What are the bands, Carter? Town and City, um, PS2, and uh, Battlefield. We're going to Final Destination. Okay. Is it bittersweet leaving the team?
Nice game, nice game. Austin is still there. Is it a bittersweet leaving the leaving the team? Or I don't know if you left the team, but uh, stepping down. Evan. When do I what? You can say it. Evan, we're doing can you hear me? Yes. We're doing uh, normal stock, just three. Just three? Okay. Yeah, you, you can still ban if you want. Uh no, it's fine, we can just go random. Probably make it easier that way. Sure. You set the arena rule set, right? So any any random, or if I pick random, it's not gonna do weird stuff, right? I don't think so, no. It shouldn't run the collect settings. Okay, then yeah. Okay. Those are real man tears. I know how it feels. Uh, you know, as much as it hurts, though, it was probably necessary for you, from what it sounds like. Uh, and, you know, you had a great run, and all great runs must come to an end, fortunately. Combo at Lich is so tricky. Nice game, nice game. Hey, 
at the very least, Austin, at least you went out on your own terms, and, like, it wasn't something out of your control, right? And it was near the end. It's not like you had to leave in the middle of the semester, or, or not the semester, but, like, in the middle of the your college career. Alright, uh, we're gonna ban out... Oh, what are we doing? We're gonna ban out... Smashville, Hollow Bastion, and um, uh, Battlefield. Oh, I'm gonna go. What map? Go random. random? Yeah. Yeah, I think we're just in random if we're doing if we're not doing um, full crew battle. You said what? If we're not doing full crew crew battle, I just uh, did random just to make it faster. Yeah, but I say, uh, Random, alright. Rest in peace, Super. Even though he's still alive. I might have to take a break after this one to go grab some water, but then I'll be right back. So grab some what? Some water. Nice air dodge recovery, very smart. Do the pick. way you made it back up Nice, good follow up. Unfortunately, I have invisibility there. Uh, 
could you elaborate a bit further on that, Austin? What do you mean you, you want to make something out of it? Like, you want to make the situation positive, or...? Yeah, I think we're just doing random. Uh, let me, let me go grab some water real quick. Alright, no reason. Okay, I'm back. Right. Austin, you want to elaborate more and you want to make something out of it? Like, you want to make it positive or, or what, dude?
Nice, nice. Good game, good game. Uh, yeah, I want to build up my platform again. Six years ago. Shit. Shit. Well, I mean, honestly, it's a good mindset to have. Like, yeah, it sucks that certain conditions pushed you into this situation, but coming out on top and wanting to make something out of it is probably the best outlook that you can have. Um, because anything else just isn't really... It's not its not helpful to you. There's... Yeah. There's there's no there's no sense in wallowing in it. So, good, uh, good outlook for the future, sure. Your own decision to stop when it did. Good game, Scarter. Yeah, that was from the factory. And my grandpa, when he was really sick, said it. Game future. are saying that it should. should yeah, absolutely. I'm talking about um the decision to to leave the team. But no, I, I understand. What, yeah. I mean, now that I guess I'm assuming that you don't have those obligations anymore. Um, I hope that you do succeed. I mean, honestly. If you got a passion for something, I hope that it pans out for you and you're able to go far with it. Who is up next? Kazuya. Back at it again with John.
Good game, John. How much do you have set up at this point to uh, continue streaming? Like, how, how prepared are you to jump back into it? Shoot, my bad. Good game, Cole. Mega man, let's go DG. Oh, wait a minute, I'm in the wrong.
Ooh, nice, nice. Good call of the job. Good game, DG. Good game. Good game, good game. I didn't realize I wasn't in a call with anybody for a second there, so I was like saying GD to anybody. And I was like, man, nobody's responding. I was Overwatch practice today, Coach Kurt. Yeah. I heard uh, Austin had to make a tough choice. Step down. Beat her cover. Oh. <laughs> no, but that sends you like super far horizontally. Oh no! Kurt! I expected so much better of you. Never played against Marth? Okay, okay, okay. I can respect it.
Tell John I'm sorry, not sorry about three stalking him twice. <laughs> nope. Yeah, no. I air dodged the wrong way. Dude, I'm so sorry to give you out of that punch, dude. <laughs> the jab. That's crazy. I just got hurt. I literally, like, perfectly timed that up and everything with the. Just got it. No way, man. Now you're in my bag. I agree, I agree. I got the lag. I got the lag under control now. Alright, alright. Got used to the lag switch. So how's the... Oh, I guess if you haven't really practiced with the Overwatch team, you would know how we're... what the mood is for... Have they been playing over the winter? Or like over the break? Ah, oh, you got it, you got it. Can you do it? I th I think Little Mac can wall jump, so if you if you hug the wall and then flick the opposite direction of the wall, you'll like bounce off of it. Um, no, only certain characters from all jump. Um, I don't think Mega Man can. Sorry, little one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I technically took two stocks. Technically, technically. Yeah. <laughs> We're closing it down. Yeah, All right. Play, play one more. All right. You want me to play anybody in particular, DG? Pyramithra? I can play her. I'll try to play her at least. Ready? Ready? Go!
Nice up air. Nice game, nice game. All right. Absolutely, absolutely. I'll uh, see you guys around. You have a good rest of your evening. Have a good one. Bye. All right. Well, it's seeing as it's almost. Yes, I am still streaming. Yep, I'll be streaming till six. Or, sorry, not six. Um, eight, your time. But this is the... Uh, sh we have reached the last hour of the stream, so we're going to go into the stream cooldown portion of the broadcast. What is the stream cooldown portion of the broadcast, you are probably asking. It is when I play um, single-player or just slower-paced games, games that don't require, like, a ton of effort to put in. So, for tonight... Uh, it is going to be Animal Crossing. If you want to hear me do funny voices for all the villagers, then stick around for the next for the next hour. Also, I totally forgot to update all of my stuff. Oop. Let's see. Oh, I was in the just chatting section for like ages. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. Okay, uh, and Title. Do Death for the voices. Oh, he thought it was on purpose. <laughs> no, I just, uh, I typically am on top of it, but today I totally forgot. All right. And yeah, Austin, if you don't have the 7TV uh, extension installed, I would recommend getting it because uh, if you do the exclamation emotes command and you have that installed, you can see all of the various emotes that I have enabled for my channel. I was thinking about adding Sad Brett on here for the memes, but I wasn't 100% sure if that would be cool the program, you know? Even though I technically own the rights to the photo because I was the one who took it. Who knows? Okay, Animal Crossing. Don't forget, hydrate, folks. And you, Austin, if you haven't uh, been around, you get to see me without the terrible yellowing of my old camera settings. I totally forgot to change everything when I uh, started streaming again, because, you know, every room's lighting is different. So for the first, like, two broadcasts, I was uh, very, it, the lighting was terrible, and the camera quality was no bueno, but I uh, went through and fixed it all last night. So here on out, we should be good. Oh no, it's the thing again. Why does it do this?
Bum, bum, bum. So I'll take you on a tour of the island. I would ideally like to extend the stream cooldown part of my broadcast a little bit more, but... Hello there, everyone! Right now on Kingsway, it's 5.55pm on Wednesday, January 11th, 2023. Now for today's announcement. Tomorrow, Kingsway bids a fond farewell to our dear friend, Timbra. It's hard to say goodbye, but we wish her luck on her next big adventure. Be sure to stop by for one last chat before she leaves. Maybe bring some tissues. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoyed the loveliest of lovely days. All right. See what we got in the mail today. Oh, Sheldon. Hey, the dude. Ever think about history? I spent a while in the wilderness doing the workouts my ancestors did, like lifting trees and swimming up river and crushing rocks and stuff. This came in handy. You want it? What did we get? Jolly Reds. Congratulations, Evan. On behalf of all of us here at Jolly Reds Treasure Trawler. I'd like to thank you for your wise and, if I may add, final purchase of a glowing painting. No refunds. Red, owner and president. I'll take that. Oh, and I got my... Awesome. Alright, so order number one for my Animal Crossing world is shake down all the trees so I can get all the money and... Uh, all the money and coin stuff. And... This should take a lot less time than it did yesterday, because yesterday I had to go... It was like the first time I logged in in forever, so there were weeds and stuff everywhere. All those up. Also, Austin, let me know how the audio is. I keep... Uh, I want to hear from as many people as possible about the uh, audio levels and stuff. Um, my friend James said that it was good, but I want to, you know, get a wide base of opinion. What's up, the dude? Oh no, I didn't mean to whack you. No! Come back! Hey, the dude. You bringing it? Another awesome day for trading. You should join me sometime. Is that all? You came up running to me like you had something to tell me, bro. Actually, we can give this to Sheldon right now. Sheldon, come back! Oh! Oh, he's singing! Disturb him. But yo! It's... It's, a uh, Flick! Wait, okay, I gotta think of a... I gotta think of a, uh... Tone for Flick. Um... Gosh, I can't, uh... Hey, remember me, Flick? The guy who loves bugs and all glittery cherry, sometimes glittery glory? I'm still looking for my soul bug, the one for, to be my artistic inspiration to lift me ever, to evermore art. 
So if you find a bug, will you sell it to me? I can play a little extra. No price is too high for my shiteness kindred. And that's any bug. Devotion to all conditions isn't devotion at all. Ooh. And if you are um interested in my art at all, just let me know. I commissioned a robot. Maybe another time. Oh, yeah, of course. But if you, you know, change your mind, I'll be here until 5 a.m. tomorrow, so... So how's your day been, Austin? Austin class is looking good. I don't know uh, what you've got this semester, but I hope things are going well for you. Same as the rest of the team. I dug up a fossil. Wow! Oh, gee willikers! I should really start cutting down some of these trees. Well, the good news is, is now that one of my residents moved out, I can the house for another villager that I actually want. Oh, did I get it? Yeah, let's go. I caught a bagworm. I guess it's a bragworm. Uh, I should be still. Actually, we'll wait. Check down all the... Oh, wait, I see a gift. Thought I did, at least. No, I didn't. Let's go! Please don't tell me it fell in the water. Okay, thank you. Did I pick it up? Okay, I did. I hate how they wiggle around when you hold them. Like, bro, he's trying to escape. He'll attack you if he gets the chance. Alright. Let's have the lower half of the island. But yeah, if you're if you're interested in tuning in more, Austin, I am live every Monday through Wednesday, um, one to, or sorry, it would be two to seven your time, and then, um, wait, no, sorry, two to eight your time, uh, and then Thursdays it's two to, like, four I think, because I think I'll be working on Thursdays, so I'm not. Able to stream as well. Back. There we go. Damselfly. Now it's a damselfly. Why is it in distress? Treating them inhumanely. Might have to call my man Austin Burkholder. On myself. My avatar. I did it myself.
What's the weather up like there, too? For St. Louis, it's been... Other than that, the blizzard that happened where we froze half to death. Uh, it's been kind of mild around here. I think it's actually supposed to... Because I think it got to like 60-something today, so... I'm hoping it stays that way because I'm really not trying to death again. Even though I have a bunch of coats and things, so. But I feel like all my good outfits are applicable. It's uh, not freezing, it's slightly chilly. Eighth time is the charm. Island's so peaceful. It'd be a shame if a catastrophic event were. See what this fish is. Too. Oh yeah. It's a uh... yes. I caught a pond smelt. Remember, smelt and dealt it. Thank you for that wonderful insight. Alright. I got one of the didn't I? Also, let me know if there's any like stuttering or random, uh, like random frame drops or just drops in qualities or anything like that. Any bit of feedback I get helps. That's a nice butterfly. Hold on, come back. Yeah. But an emperor butterfly. It's not your average one. I feel like I should add more inflection to my voice when I speak as my character, but at the same time, my character is supposed to be me, so not sure how straight I should play. It's uh, a dace. Hope I have some space. Nothing up here. I'm hoping to get a gyroid, but I'm not sure if I gotta do something special to get that. I should probably look that up. That's a big fish. I just want to try and get some of these exclusive fish, but don't only get the common things. Bite! Oh, it's just a bass. Got 
Come on. Fossil. Unlucky. I've already gotten all the uh, fossils for the museum, so I don't really have uh, too much excitement when it comes to thinking up fossils. Nest. That's a wasp. We got a sting. today. Not the balloon! <laughs> Rapid fire. There we go. Real boosted. Yes, sir! Pepe D. We all know this is a banger of a soundtrack here. Nothing gets you moving like Animal Crossing's 3 a.m. Shaking down these trees. I'm then gonna go around hitting the rocks and see if I can find the uh, the money rock. Better see a yep rock every time I smack one of them. Furniture at trying to get those items. This way is I don't think did I get this tree? Oh, definitely not. I'm so glad that it faces you toward the nest when it drops, and all you gotta do is press A. Because if not, it would be. I think I'd be stung way too often if that wasn't the case. Gosh, another one. Okay, I swear. Inviting you to the house or to the island. Rizzo! Ultimate Rizzo. Oh, yeah, this guy. I'm sweating. <laughs> it's not like I have a stockpile of medicine laying around. Gotta try and power through this. Oh, wait. You can get medicine. Hold on, I can craft that. Do I have enough weeds, though? I don't know if I do. Medical weeds, some might even say. But I'm, oh, I gotta craft it out of just my inventory. At least I don't can. Smack her again. What's up, chickers? There are reactions for everything! you're sleepy, you can use, wait for it, sleepy! Yawn. It's totally great! Somebody sees you do that, and they'll know you've been up all night, probs dancing on your bed! Wow! I got a new reaction. Sleepy reaction. 
Thanks, Apple. Appreciate that. Okay. That one. Shake it again. Not a bagworm. Yes, it's a bragworm. The furniture. Is it? There's gonna be another tree that should drop it. Unless I shook it down already and it dropped and I didn't realize it. It dropped from like. Well, regardless, at least I have the... I dug up. Bury it again. Yeah. One of these is the money rock now, but I don't know. It's not that one. That's not the money rock. Where is it? The money. That one. Strike that rock? I think I did. There it is. Yep, rock. Yep, rock. Yep, rock. Let's go. Money, money, money. This is good because I'm flat broke in Animal Crossing right now. I just spent like 500,000 bells paying off my loan. I still owe 200,000 bill. Uh, what's up? 10,000 bells? Sure. Take that. 5,000 bells? Sure. That's the record. Present. Oil barrel. Okay. Blowing pa oh my gosh, are you serious? No shot. Oh wait, no, that was the package. Never mind. I think I got the other drop, but I don't know. A trip. Eh, it's no big deal. I got enough for it already. But what I don't have is this glowing pink museum. Alright, time for the blather's voice. Get ready. This one's a doozy. Why, hello, Evan. Welcome to the Kingsway Museum. How may I be of service? Marvelous. What would you like to donate? Wait, I have a bunch. Did I not already? Ooh -hoo, several things I see. Let us take a look, shall we? Splendid. We'll gladly take these off your hands. Ah, uh, no need to pull them out. I'll handle the rest from here. Might I help you with anything else? Jolly good. Please enjoy the rest of your visit. I feel like each of these characters' voices are going to change ever so slightly um, every time I play this game. Let's see if I can find the... How do I not have a bagworm? Bagworm. No shot, I never had the bagworm. Let's 
go see that pond smelt. And the glowing painting. I think I've only got like three or four pieces of art in the museum. That's it, right? Yeah, the glowing painting. Running Tremont Bear. Joseph Mallard. By Emerald Nelson, it's being tugged. It's dismantled. You know, I wonder if there were people back in the times before, like, cell phones and stuff, where it was, like, and before photography, where, you know, you get people nowadays, like, oh, you're you're taking a picture of your food. Like, you know, that's kind of weird. Like, take a picture. How would you want to save that? But then there were people, like, painting just random shit for, like, 400 years. They're even longer than that. And nobody questioned them. Well, maybe they did, but I just don't know about it. I'm sure there were some people who were like, why did the, the ship getting to, to dismantling? Smelt maybe. Oh, I think here it is. Yeah, pond smelt. Nice. Bro, there were yeah, exactly. There were people painting food. So many f bowls of food. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So I'm g willing to bet that there were people back then who were criticizing, like, why would you spend so much time painting some fruit? You could have done a portrait. You could have done. You know, you could have done a beautiful landscape or something, but instead you chose to spend 40 hours painting a bowl of fruit. Okay. Uh, that's it. have been done. That's... Oh, wait, no. About... Hey, Evan. Thanks for saying hi. Let's talk. The sky today looks clear and dry. I bet that means the sun and moon are happy. I'm so sleepy. Anyway, what's going on with you? Oh, do I get something? Alright, what should we give him? He likes bugs. So, maybe Emperor is the gift for Yeah, exactly. And now those pangs are worth millions. So maybe my maybe my photograph of or some chick's photograph of you know, their lunch at a restaurant worth millions one day. When when all when all uh, when all devices have gone dark and they recover the files off of one uh, off of one phone, it's gonna be pictures of food. Oh, this is this is high culture right here. Look at the detail and effort that went into framing and lighting the shot of, you know, their ramen or whatever. I want to thank you. Here, man. Some light pat wood pattern flooring. Hope you like it. ka -chow. <laughs> Omegle. <laughs> Next up is... Gotta talk to Apple. Oh, okay, flick. Flick. Will this world meet its reckoning? Behold only by the lonely eyes of the tarantula? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Lost in my thoughts. Have you found any bugs yet? Because I'll buy any kind. Any. Kind. Oh, 
And if you want to commission a piece of art, just let me know. Okay, bye. And we got a bug to sell. Really? What kind? This, that, this, that, and this. Here we see a picture of Panera Soup. Really inspiring and ever-changing for the art space. Panera soup at dawn or at dusk. And in this room, children, we see dog picture number 485. It seems the owner was quite obsessed with documenting every waking moment of their pet's life. A whole swarm? This is the best day ever. Hey, tone it down, Flynn. Ahem. Can I offer you, say, 21,900 bells? Holy cow. Are there a bunch of them? Sell, sell. Really? Th thank you. We're gonna have to, like, apply pressure and stuff to make my change. Ching. Let me know if you catch more. Villagers. Apple. There shouldn't be any on the second level because no way for them to get up there. Jeez. Apple! I have an idea! Let's see how many more times we can talk to each other today, Jeekers! This is for you. What is it? Gonna give her a sea butterfly. A sea butterfly? Aw, oh, it's swimming around. This little fellow around, my home security sitch is all sorted. Thanks, Evan. I feel kind of bad being the only one getting stuff. Here, take a long down coat. Thanks, Apple. I appreciate it. Let's see what the new drip looks like. That is very drippy. I don't know if I want to... Or, or, wait, what? Tank top? What did I get that? Oh, wait. Hold on, the tank top is perfect for... Um, my boy... Sheldon. Still singing in the courtyard, apparently. That's that. Good day. Some stream hopping and a quick question. Um, no, I'm not a server. Don't ban me right away. Yes, it's a PG question. All right, shoot. I think I'm going to play some Slime Rancher. All right, man. Thanks for tuning in. Four million bells completely free? I mean, I wouldn't say no. Thanks for tuning in, Austin. Appreciate you stopping by. Hope to see you back again sometime soon. Let me know when you start streaming again, too. I'll, uh, collaborate. I have my gate open for you. That's it. I'm still gonna... Oh, you're still gonna be around? Oh, cool, cool, cool. Appreciate that. Thank you. Gate open for you, if that's a yes. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? ES6... 6S... C. Oh, gotcha. All right. I can do that through the um, the flight thing, Dodo code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm pretty sure I can do that. I wanna fly. Fly. There's a song with that. So just to get all the paperwork official, where did you wanna go? I want to visit someone. Uh, yeah, I want to visit someone. Online play. One second, you say. 
Oh, and sorry if we showed you this before. The legal eagles say we gotta... Gotta before. Yeah, all that. Setting up, no problem. Yep. Just let me know when I should uh, input the code there. Anime Conquistador. Anime Conquistador. How do you want it? Is this your first island visit? It would be my first island visit, yes. Go ahead. Appreciate it. I must uh, ask, how did you acquire? Uh, I'm guessing this is Star Breeze is you. Um, I, how did you acquire six million bells? Or do you just like to grind the game? Because that's understandable. This is a fun game to just kind of sit back and play. Four mil. That's really easy. Oh, four mil. Yeah, my bad. Alright then, you're all set. Travel, just think. Dodos do. Uh, I'm pretty sure Dodos would do nothing. That's kind of why they died. 1,000 hours on Animal Crossing. Holy! Yeah, I played City Folk. Um, not sort of, like, really religiously. I played it a, for, like, a hot second when I was younger, but then I hadn't touched any of the other games in between. Um, like, nothing on the 3DS or anything, so... Um, I got this during the pandemic, and played a bunch then, but then... Really haven't played it since then. Talk in game. Oh, like in the chat. That's the flower farm there. Some nice decoration. It's like uranium brick uh, fence there. Oh, the froggy chair. Hey, I see you waving there. The legendary froggy chair. Yo, I've got a uh, a froggy umbrella, so we're we're in that froggy gang. All right, chat with other players. Send message to any. Hello. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. It's quite the island you have here. Nine... Wow. I can just go ahead and start picking things up. You know, I won't say no to four million free bells. I gotta say, you had me a bit a bit sketched out when you say not a scam and four million free bells, but uh clearly you are a man of your work. Or a person of your work. Where is the ATM? Oh, there we go. It's okay. No. I phrase it that way since people <laughs> ban me before I even ask the question. Honestly, that's understandable, but at the same time, since it's seemingly legit, <laughs> that's also very unfortunate for you. You just have like excess money and you're like trying to, you just go around giving people them? Yep. What a, what a charitable person. Yeah. 
Although, you know, I think a lot of people probably follow the rule of, you know, if it's too good, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. <laughs> Snowflakes. Yeah, they just, apparently they just don't know a good thing when they, uh, when they see it. Five million? This is gonna help a lot with, uh, developing my island, so I very much appreciate this. Reach. So, uh, free up only applies to the the money, right? Not the uh, furniture items. Oh no, I see. It's a it's a barrier. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Action bear. Did you design all these uh all these posters and stuff too? Wish. <laughs> Pixel art not your thing? I get that. Rest in peace, Animal Crossing, not making gold too indestructible. Oh, quite the dapper look. Farm and resident. Very nice. I didn't have no idea there were vegetables here. I only uh, got the fruit. Got 3D years. Very nice. Look at these. Are these gold? Gold roses? That's really neat. WGD on the. Oh, that's cool. What's WGD stand for? Was good though. <laughs> I'll tell you what's good though. You're good though. Good for me. Gold roses by watering. Black roses can. Oh, okay. Percent chance. What are these things made out of? It's fence posts. Frozen fencing. Huh. Interesting. Very stylish. Those. I like the mannequins. Very nice touch. Like I'm back in Macy's. It's gotta have the housing district. Haha. Uh -huh. I was gonna say it reminded me of Steven Universe, the uh, the star on the shirt. Not gonna count for storage. Ah. <laughs> Truly are a dedicated uh, Animal Crossing player. If uh, have a second account just for storage. The Lloyds. Okay, tell me. If you if you're creative, get the DLC. I didn't know there was DLC. Other other than like the happy home designer stuff and the uh, the pocket camp things integration, but what DLC is there? After one. Happy home, like I said. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. 
We got the scale, the powering up toilet. I was gonna say, I, I could tell you like the, um, the Asian aesthetic. I saw a lot of the kimonos and stuff in the booty. Oh, it's the orange bath thing. Nice. Food women. Hey, you know, if you like what you like, who am I to, who am I to stop you? Pears? Are pears Asian? Oh, is it a pear bath? Ah, I gotcha. Or do you mean like Asian pears? I think those are a thing. Okay, I got a question, because pear bath, ah, I gotcha. So you're clearly an Animal Crossing expert. Um, there's no when you when you're looking for for the gyroids for the Lloyds, um, uh, you, there's no special requirements of finding them, right? You just dig them up in the ground like fossils. But I think that's how it was with um, the Wii, the uh, city folk. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Are the chances like any lower than finding a fossil, or is it just kind of like? Sometimes they are broken. Like the, the the drop chances or like the gyroids themselves. Just gotta be lucky. Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. Carry on with the tour. The gyroids. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. You got the fully upgraded house. You got the upstairs and downstairs. Gotcha. Okay. I like this effect. Okay, okay. DLC effect. Huh, interesting. Kitchen, alright, let's see the kitchen. Now when you say Asian, do you mean you, you just Asia in general, or is there a specific, uh, specific region of Asia? The walk? ramen going on there. This is a very gourmet kitchen. The rice cooker, of course. You're not in Asia if you don't have a rice cooker. Very nice. Very nice. The greenhouse. Ooh. I just want to warn you there, Mr. Anim or I don't want to keep referring to you with the gender I don't know, but uh, Anime Conquistador. Um, I do end the stream at uh, around 17 minutes. Very strict with that cutoff time. So uh, if I leave abruptly, nothing against you, but AC? Okay, AC. Gotcha. Cool. Oasis basement. This is very calm. I like the bamboo uh, water features there. There's so much customization that you can do with this game. It's honestly insane. Downstairs time? Ooh. This is really neat. Aquariums kind of trip me out, but at the same time, I love um, the undersea and like underwater aesthetic. Bedroom? Bed. Very cool. I didn't know wallpapers could look like this. Is the is the moving wallpaper um, a DLC feature too? No. Okay. That's good. I would be really sad if I if that was the case. Hey, the setup. Dang, I didn't know they had like the whole thing. That's insane. That's sick. Black Santa. The lighting and everything. This is really neat. Halfway done with tour. Got a little speaker there. Nice kimono. Do you have the um the samurai swords? There's a um, there's like a samurai sword display. I'm I imagine you probably do somewhere. 
with 1,000 hours. Get those from Sir. I have I have some. If you would want one. But yeah, yeah, you got one. But I'd like to return the generosity if possible. Though I'm not sure how. What do you get for the me the person who has any everything, right? Very nice outdoor space. I like the tapestries here. Since we're Mediterranean outdoor. Got the non-red, big worship stars area up top. I, see, I can say with these little things. What's it? What's it uh, gonna be? Uh, like a. What are you, what are you, what are the the districts called with like um, like the big the big tourism anime anime districts in like Japan? Is there a certain term for them? That's what my first guess would have been for that work in progress. Campsite, very nice. Got the the kebabs on the grill. The outhouse. <laughs> Progress Japanese pick. Oh, that's really cool. Very nice. Oh, yeah, rock guard, of course. Are these just patterns for the sand? For the stones. Nice, nice. You said this was a uh, our car. Oh yeah, carnival. Ooh, whoa. This is pretty cool. Gyroid band. Let's see the. <laughs> That's awesome. And the centerpiece, the coup de gras. The G shaped garden bed. G for garden and G for good, with one of every flower. Very well done. Was there any, um... Yeah, I'd imagine. Was there any thought into what colors they were uh, placed in? Or was it just by, um... Uh, just by flower type? Or just placed in that? Well, you have an incredible island by type, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I see it now. Yeah, I, I really spent a lot of time. It certainly has been. May I take one of these oranges back? Absolutely. I'm not sure what I'd like to do with my island, but... I doubt it could be yours, honestly. Thank you very much for this tour, and for the bells. I don't have all the things unlocked. Well, thank you. I was, this is honestly very, very helpful, and I'm blown away by your generosity. Your island is fantastic. Keep up the work. I know that your work progresses will turn out 
just as well as all the other designs and structures that you've created here. Thank you. I hope you have a good rest of your evening. You as well. Have a very blessed day yourself. See ya. Well, that was awesome. That was not expecting that. It's left and is still black. Oh wait, that's not my. I don't know how to leave. Sin Tobu's island theme when you leave. Sin. Oh okay. Attention. Oh, perfect. I can't wait to hear. This guy is too. Wait, I missed it? No! It doesn't play when I'm flying over. The island tomb. Okay. I didn't know that was a. Oh, well, I knew island tombs were a thing. I just didn't know how they were. Gotcha. Goodbye. Have a good Welcome rest of your evening. House. And thank you for following. It's a handsome. Oh, you're too kind. It's the fresh cut, you know, just got it today. What can I say? My barber does good work. Save some ladies for the rest of us. Hey, I'm already in a relationship, so you can have all of them you want. And I'm sure with those interior design skills, you're going to have no problem getting some. Oh mine, exactly. Now oh, we got seven minutes left. Um, I need to talk with this man here now that he's Once again. Hey, Accordio, working up a good sweat. I want to chat. Has left again. It's black again. Oh, I see it's in red in the uh, in the. You know, sometimes it's not easy to tell when someone is ripped. I mean, I glance at some really built folks that, that don't look built. Or at a glance, some folks don't look built. That's why I need every ripped bod needs a muscle shirt, Cardio. I'm just saying, why flex your modesty muscle when you could be flexing those biceps? We're just raring to go. So, huh, what do you need, Cardio? Do you want this? Really? What is it? Wait, I thought I had a. Oh no, it's the undershirt that just stays on. Uh. <laughs> Give him a bunch. Just give me this fossil. A fossil? Huh? Thanks. I love not knowing what kind of fossil it is. Suspense is great for the core muscles, cardio. Where's, where's Aurora? Let's go, I got it. Is it just Longhorn? Horn you happy for? Ah, ah, ah. Oh, Animal Crossing. Rivaled only by dad jokes. See that? Who's this? This is. 
This is Rocket. Get Rocket in the console. Wait, okay, with this amount of money, I should be able to f upgrade my house. I'd imagine. Got a groove growing now. This is starting to rock a chow. What you doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Check it out! I'm making a tree branch. This DIY stuff takes a major elbow piece, so I like to go all in, in on it. It's so worth the effort, though. Oh, but he crammed your brain with branch wreath making know how? Well, it's not hard. Alright, alright, I should have known. I'm always on top of stuff. Well, I already wrote up a recipe for this, a tree branch wreath. Here, take it anyway. A friend or something, you know? A chow. Would it rock if we all made a tree branch wreath? DIY style? Yes, yes it would. Yeah, what's up, Kachow? A chef. How you been? Had any good meals lately, Kachow? Every day. I did have a good meal today, actually. I had some canes today. Rock on. So many folks just eat because they gotta, and don't take the time to make something good. I did not take the time to make something good either. I went and got something good. But you know you've got something to look for? Dinner. It helps the whole day go by faster. And listen, if you don't, if you like good food, you gotta try my cooking. I'll serve up a meal. Never forget it. Whoa, Kachow. Someone's feeling chatty. It's a gift. What is it? What is it? I wanna see. Another fossil. Sorry, everybody gets fossils today. What kind of fossil is this? I couldn't even guess. Thanks, the dude. <laughs> Just give you unidentified fossils. Bro, how can I put the Omega symbol in my stream title but not in my username? Come on, Nintendo. Er, Nintendo Twitch. Come on, Twitch. At least be consistent in your, uh... Now, if you like good food, you need my cooking. I don't know if I've ever had your cooking, Austin, honestly. But I'll take your word for it, that's pretty good. It's three minutes, let me... Oh, I don't have to end exactly at eight, but... Is she leaving? What's your what's your signature dish, Austin? Moving out, let's go! Oh, it's you. I'm so glad you decided to come see me before I head out tomorrow. I'm excited, of course, but still a little bit reluctant. My comfortable life on the island. But you know what they say. You should do one thing that scares you every day. Hopefully this counts for at least a week. Well, it's not long now before I say goodbye forever. I suppose it does make me a bit sad. Chin up, Timbra. There are new adventures to be had. Adios, Timbra. What is going on upstairs? I hear the dogs running. Sushi. Urshi. Let's see what's in the store, too. And the Able Sisters. Yeah, Able Sisters. This water is running through me. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wait, I gotta sell. Yes, yes, of course. Of course. What do you need? A sell. Of course. What exactly are you offering? Everything. 
on the fine things you brought in today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers. And done. There is a portion of your submission I cannot pay bills for. You can dispose of any un items for. Said your total comes up to 3,200. Sound good? Oh. Don't really make a signature dish. I make a good burger. Burger. Uh, I make fire pasta from hand. Dang, from scratch. I recently have been making carnitas. Some fresh peppers and caramelized onions and the breakfast burrito. Dude, breakfast burritos or just anything in a tortilla goes hard. Carnitas though. Por carnitas, very good. Muy bueno. bueno. The Able Sisters. Here, aren't they? Yeah, there it is, okay. Yeah, I knew I'd put it close to the max. Dude, absolutely. Scrambled eggs, a little bit of hot sauce. Dude, I don't know. So, oh, for Christmas, my sister got me this, this hot sauce scale. Hold on, let me see if I can pull it up here. Yeah, look at that. I started out with number eight. It's a habanero. What is it called? Hold on, let me see. It's a mango habanero hot sauce. Very good. There, welcome to the Able Sisters. Okay, I forgot how many... I forgot how many um, characters were in this. And I'm going to be... Struggling. Getting new. On those tissues. I bought it. I'll pass. Need some cool kicks. Oh, that's the. the Monocles are kind of neat. Oops. Oh, hold on. I gotta get some high thumbs for my boy. Score. These, are, these look like the ones Kurt has. Well, I wasn't able to find a roar. That's a problem for me. Oh, was I? No, I wasn't. Socks. My shoes just disappeared. What's crazy is I was like, oh man, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to trade in all those eighty thousand milk rewards points for, um, to get some money to help pay this off. That person came in and was like, oh, no, I got you, fam. Don't worry. Yes, I finished paying off my home loan. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, hello there. Let's take you. Yes. Let's ask. Havens, by any chance, motive. By that desire for expansion. Because if so, I have good news. Understand your construction. Let's come see me if you'd like to discuss the deal. Yes, that's why I'm here. This is the construction consultation account. Can I help you? What's your home? What shall we discuss? Expand. Why? With a hammer and some elbow grease? Put a large one second story on your home. Oops. I dig a whole new heavy construction for this. <sighs> Talking about a loan of 1.2 million bells. Are you yes, let's do it now. Should be ready for by tomorrow. So exciting. Exciting indeed. I think I can pay it off. Select for the Let's get home. Put in my new song. I can run. Not, I bet she's in the. Let's go. I don't want to talk to Aurora. Show off the last funny voice of the stream. I gotta, I gotta give the people everything, right? I give you a gift. Forcefully bringing you gifts. I got a feeling that she's got to be in here, or else in the island. She wasn't at home. Logic stands to reason that she is... At least you'll get to see a nice little tour of the, uh, museum. Ah, speak of the devil. Look who it is, Evan. Nice to see you, baby. Chat, just imagine all these creatures swimming in ancient oceans. Like an underwater life is a mystery now, but the things in here are a world we barely imagine. Sorry, these ideas just blow my mind. What's up, baby? The latest. They say this room alone shares millions of years worth of natural history. That's humbling. What's up, the baby? A gift? Really? Oh no, I sold all my stuff. <sighs> I'm gonna give her the long down coat. Give her the drip. Are you sure you want a long down coat? I'm going to try wearing this and see how it feels. <laughs> wow, it's perfect. Thanks. Wow, I look. So thank you. Oh, I already got one of these. Let's take my tea with silicone. Honestly, I kind of like the heart sweater more. Right, let's get back. So close it out here.
more cockroaches? Bro, I was just on you. Shoot this. Kind of funny. Oh, I might do this now. I might do like a, a Breaking Bad esque, um, like room. Like do the lab in my basement or something, or make the upstairs, uh, like a little episode models or something. Interesting. Gosh, they do have lights. What the heck? That goes storage and that my other shoot didn't just disappear. So if they okay, they didn't. I text stickers. Yeah. Alright, folks. Save complete. See you. Oh, my follower gold stuff didn't update. Got two new stream. There's someone here I want to be friends with. Yeah. But I don't think she wants to be friends with me. Okay. Alright, folks. It's been a good stream. Had a lot of fun with Smash today. Did some Valorant. That was kind of a up and down experience. And then Animal Crossing was great. That was a really that was a really neat experience. Thank you everybody who came out and watched and hung out. Looking at you, Austin, looking at you, James. It really does mean a lot to me that you guys are wanting to spend your attention and time chilling out with me. But, uh, yeah. You guys have a good rest of your day. See ya tomorrow. <laughs>